Morning, everyone. Are we up bright and early? I'm up bright and early. I had my sleep. And I'm trying to feel funky fresh for this big game, but it's not uh, It's not quite manifested itself yet, but we'll get there. We'll get there. Hey, Ginge, Andra, Coleman, Artemis, GB, Gigalaw, you were up for Japan? You are Australian. Okay. Morning, Arthur. Thank you for, thank you for the tier one. Hey, Robo, Iron Sword, Stark, Stark? Strange Quark. I combined your names for you there. Thank you, Zis. Time Morning, for Azita mate. Sweep. Azita Sweep? I think, I think, same page, same page. When I watch back for replays from Korea the previous weekend, why am I getting flashbacks? When I watch back for replays from Korea the previous weekend, you know who I thought had a better read on the judo who looked better? I forgot to say a division. I think Alpha Yi gonna make up this motherfucker. Find this motherfucker, I mean Stalker. I think Stalker. Overrated on the May. It's actually gonna be an Alpha Yi world. I think the divide we're going to get is Flora's gonna to want to play Ash and Proper will play a lot of Adventure. Now I do like the Venture comp more in a lot of situations. But no, I think Alpha Yi's got it, you know. I think he's got it. Where's Jumbin at? They got knocked out by Falcons. Well, not knocked out. They still qualify for Asia Land, but they got they got eliminated by Falcons from this career finals. So it's a Zeta v Falcons world. Crazy Raccoon finally. I mean, to be fair, right? Falcons now in position to win back to back Korea lands or Korea tournaments or Korea lands, I guess, as well. And that'll be 100% of the Korea tournaments, well, the, the Korean OWCS tournaments won by Falcons this year. So they're, they're on. They're on track for actually a, a pretty good record, at least domestically. It's just when they go a little bit international, Crazy Raccoon always ruin their day. <laughs> hey, Pineapple Pro Tour. Oh. See, I'm a little bit sleepy, but I think as soon as the game starts, it's all just going to click into base, you know? Click into base. Click into place. Fuck, I wish I had the ability to talk. Luckily, I don't think it's relevant for the the task ahead of me today. Uh, 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 where is Korea? Where is Korea? Korea. Here we go. Let me turn it down about my side. Uh, no, don't know first map yet. Let me get that up, so I've got the Korean Strem. Let me get the English up as well for the translation element. And let me do it so maybe you can see as well. That'd be nice of me. Here we go. Uh, who are the Washington team that uh, Ends played the other day? They're the remnants of, yeah, T GG slash Team Peps. Uh, they don't they're not gonna exist as that team anymore. GG dropped them and also the roster's breaking up a bit. I think, to be fair, from what I understand, the roster might be breaking into two halves. I think we might see uh, Tread, Zodial, and Naga all sticking together as a trio uh, with a new backline. And I think the backline might actually reunite with um, Peps. Back under, back under Fefe's wing. It's all a little bit up in the air at the moment. All a bit roster mania, roster mania. -y, so we'll have to wait and see where the dust settles mm, as stage four starts. But that's why things happening right now. Hmm. Morning, 7M. I need to get my trademark noodles down. Demolish these. Oh, the triple. Morning, 
길진 않다 보니까 음, 음. 자, 어느덧 벌써 결승전의 날이 밝았습니다. 네, 어떻게 보면 이제 한 달이 살짝 넘는 시간이었는데 Exactly 7 m Morning o r n 경기가 좀 있었거든요. 네. 특히 초반에 굉장히 압도적인 강세로 무실 세트까지 기록했던 플레이즈 그렇죠. 라푼이 어 이제 플레이오프에서 좀 떨어지는 이변의 네. 결과도 나오게 됐고요. 네, 그래서 이 결승전에 크레이지 라콘이 없다라는 것이 일단 크레이지 라콘을 결승전에 올려두고 그 상대가 누구냐 이런 흐름이었었잖아요. 그렇죠. 사실 크레이지 라콘이랑 그래서 결승에서 예, yeah, KSA to SSC to, to play June, I remember. 아니까 싶었는데 역시 yeah. Chris told us the other day. 다른 것보다는 이큰 거에서 한 방. Daniel's day is numbered. 중요하다라는 게좀 느껴졌죠. 네, 저희 중계진들에게도 여러 가지 안케이트 하지 않습니까? 네. 어, 또각 자리에서 누가 뭐 최고냐 이런 것도 안케이트 할때 저는. 그냥 그대로 크레이지 라콘 다 뽑았거든요. 그렇죠. 사실 이제 우승 팀을 좀 결정하는 그런 좀 음. 안케이트가 있었는데 예. 제가 알기로 이제 한국 중계진은 물론이고 글로벌 중계진 모두 그렇죠. 크레이지 라콘을 좀 Where's MN Free going? Probably nowhere fast. 맞습니다. <웃음> 자 그래서 이렇게 오늘 결승전에서도 또 어떤 이별이 나올지 함께 봐주시면 될것 같고요. 그리고 오늘 경기전 영상이 하나가 좀 틀어졌었는데. My, uh, my anticipation for the MN3 thing is um, he'll post for looking for team thing, no one will go for him, and then it will just quietly fade into memory. And back to Valorant, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I, it's just it's just testing the water, right? 결승전은 9월 30일에 오픈이 되니까 이점 참고하시고 티켓팅을 잘 해주시면 예 감사하겠습니다. 자 그만큼 저희가 티켓팅이 좀 빨리 마감이 된다고 해요. 그리고 가장 중요한 정보가 있습니다. 뭐죠? 9월 23일에 이제 열리는 1일차부터 3일차는 같은 장소 이 대한극장에서 진행이 되는데 그렇죠. 9월 30일에 오픈되는 결승전 티켓은 맞습니다. 부산에서 진행되기 때문에 아, 맞아요. 네, 이제 또 결승은 부산, 야외. 네, 부산 만약에 이제 좀 사시는 분들은 네. 무조건 노려보셔야죠. 맞습니다. 그리고 오늘 방송 보시는 분들은 끝까지 저희와 함께 해주셔야 됩니다. 저희가 마지막에 또 여러 가지 여러분들이 좀 공개해드릴 것이 있다 보니까 음, so 네, 한번 hungry. 참고해 주시면 좋을 것 같습니다. 자 이렇게 티켓 관련된 안내 한번 해드렸고요. 그리고 아프리카 팀을 통해서 매일 저희가 아, 예, 레코피디오 하프 리소트, but um, uh, ends one, ends one free two, hell of a game. What's for breakfast? Uh, I don't really have like a planned breakfast. I'll have these noodles now, and then I think I'm gonna go. Um, I've got I've got some like fresh bread from a co-op. <laughs> I got it yesterday, so it's still, it's still fresh. Um, <laughs> and then we'll just probably just have like a ham and cheese sandwich. Maybe I've got a bit of pork pie still, have that on the side with some mustard, some Coleman's mustard. Other mustard brands are available. 경기를 보시고 아래 나오는 것들 여러분들이 좀 챙겨 주시면 네, 오늘 또 이렇게 선물을 받을 수가 있으니까 이점 참고해 주시면 좋을 것 같습니다. 아, 좀 많이 뭐 Pepsi as well. I've actually I've actually shredded through this first Pepsi to maybe some surprise of zero people. 그러니까 PC방에서 친구분들과 지인분들과 같이 즐기면서 Yeah, KSA is there to play Juno. Chris told us yesterday. 이런 것들은 어차피 하실 거 no more. No more. I was trying to think of a funnier one, but I couldn't. No, I couldn't think of a funnier one. 다른 기기들도 좀 있다 보니까 한 번쯤 이제 QR 코드 스캔하셔서 들어가시면 좋을 것 같습니다. 그렇습니다. 자 그럼 이어서 바로 플레이오프 안내해 드리도록 하겠습니다. 경기 정말 중요한 대진이 되겠습니다. 이 결승전에 와. I just got to you, damn yeah. <laughs> If this was the script, I just I just have to write a note like uh, remember to add the funny joke here. Insert insert one liner. 지금 강팀인데 뭔가 애매하다라는. Yeah. A lot of people are saying it. Yeah, Chris was saying it here the other day. KSA is going to be their Juno player. Here for the masterclass. I mean, it should be good, right? This should be the Juno education. The Juno education. I feel like we actually saw a really high standard between Ents and SSG yesterday. <laughs> if Falcons win, I turn £4.17 into £16.9. You can imagine how anxious I am. Oh, that could be lunch. 
to be lunch. Literally gambling your lunch money. Oh, do I need to? Go? I'm gonna grab another Pepsi. I'm gonna grab another fucking Pepsi before we start. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a while before we start. We have to do the team walkouts and everything, all of this. So we'll have a little bit of a while. A little bit of a while. Oh, okay, I wish I could speak English. I will learn English one day. Alright, I'll be right back. I don't know what you're saying. I don't know what you're saying. I don't know what you're saying. I don't know what you're 숙소 생활의 시너지가 같이 올라오면서 좀더 시원하지 않았을까라는 좀 예상도 할수 있겠고요. All right, I'm not gonna lie to you, chat. When I opened the fridge to get that Pepsi out, I locked eyes with the last slice of cheesecake. And I thought about it. I heavily considered it. I had a moment. It looked at me. I looked at it. And I thought about eating it. I pictured it. But I left it. I want it now, but I'll need it more later. All right, here are the Falcons. Masks up. Bowing. Yeah. Didn't feel like a grand final bow. Bow was all right. Why do you need it later? For the... Um, um, because I'm going to do all of EMEA in North America as well. Why mask? I'm not sure. Last time they wore masks, it's because I think Pokerface had COVID. So I don't know if someone else on one of the teams has come down with something. Proper and Stalker have COVID? Uh, okay. Monkeypox? I mean, I'm happy to start that rumor. Say to Division Vo, don't give a fuck. They don't fall all in for this fake news propaganda. They'll just tank it. Was the Magic play a map? Um, no, I don't think so. They kind of feel like Falcons are pretty set with their Chio Perma as the Juno player um, and Phil Deflex in between Kiri, Brig, and Anna. So I think they'll very much keep doing that. Hope to Magic plays a map and Falcons lose, so Magic never plays a map again because he sucks and I hate him. <laughs> Negative energy this morning, Jack. Negative energy. I feel like you've got a you got a bone to pick, you know. And you're taking it out on these poor innocent esports players. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's the prediction? What are the, what are the good people spending their money on? 60% Falcons? I think Zayta will win it. Not to, not to manipulate the market, but I think... Um, I think I feel Zayta will win. I feel Zayta will win. I thought they looked better on the meta. Better may play. My big question is... Will they be able to get away with Flora Ash, right? Will they be able to get away with Flora Ash? Or will the, will the Venture May, when Falcons choose to run it, will it be too much? I don't know if it'll be a clean win, but I think a win. I don't know if we've even seen that much Smurf, right? Or that much he sung. I think it might just be a Burner Hambin world. You've been manipulated? Oh no, I did. I, I did try and not manipulate the market, but unfortunately it seems it seems I have manipulated the market. But it can happen. You think whoever wins map one? All right, we've got the interview going. Let's let's hear. Any big okay, smack talk? Um, to make it to the finals, so we weren't thrilled, but I think we would we will definitely be thrilled if we win today's match. Of course, now after beating Chris Raccoon, now that Zeta Division is your grand finals opponent, yeah, so did you expect Zeta Division to make it here? At first, uh, when we were playing scrims, um, according to scrim results anyways, um, uh, we thought that, okay, so we expected poker face, but um, again, Zeta showed up and we were caught off guard. I'm trying, Saija. I need so the, the, the energy from the sun. Said, uh, before the start of the stage, Zeta said that they don't want to finish third. 
the team kept that promise and they're now in the finals. So did you expect to meet Team Falcons in the finals? You know, they, they're a team that with the caliber of definitely making it to the finals, so we've definitely expected it. Yeah, so in right, terms of Violet right. himself, yeah. uh, he has a lot of second place finishes in his career, so today's victory must feel that much sweeter if they actually Why is Lee Seeing Mugget off Violet? So, what are your thoughts on Falcons <laughs> as a team? <laughs> of course, on the other side, there there are a lot of players that have experience when uh, championship victories. So we are going to stay focused and take this very seriously. Doesn't have the same flair, does it, as when it's so Falcons, Moon versus the head -to -head Crusty? Record in Stage 1, Falcons was ahead 3-0, uh, Falcons was in Zeta Division, but, um, but for Stage 2, um, they're pretty neck and neck. So how are the team, what's the team atmosphere like right or today? So our recent scrim results have been really good. And I think that we are pretty excited um, because of that, but we are going to stay level-headed and we will um, play the game to win. Just cool. In the Astro Seto Division. Just cool one of them as a team or something. There are a lot of players that are really desperate for that championship win. So we are, we are pretty much pumped. We are very pumped for this match. Glad you're pumped. I want to be. I've, I want to be pumped. Only one team I can survive and become champion. So can you please say a few words to the other team? We know that we know that Zeta's division is good, but I think we're better. <laughs> and Violet's response. You guys know what I mean. Um, when I was on the same team as Junk Buck and Krusty, um, that was his. Um, that was his last. Um, that was the last time that he went, they took second place. So this time, the championship win is ours. Of course, there's a lot of fans cheering for both sides, and both, um, for both teams. So please say a few words to the fans as well. Thank you for all coming all this way to watch the Team Falcons, as well as those that are watching at home. Thank you, Ashley. put on one hell of a show, so all right, he's acknowledged me now, so now I'm happy again. And Violet's were to his fans. So I think that the fans are also just as desperate as us for this championship victory, so we will do our best. And that was a pre-match interview between Team Falcons and Zeta Division. Before we time to this banger of a grand finals between these two teams, I'm going to send it. You know the sign here that just says enjoy? <laughs> enjoy. Lots of time for that. Just enjoy, guys. Yeah, everyone make sure to enjoy. Let's 2x so we can travel into the future. We'll have to sync up with Max when he's here. Give us your smack talk. I don't know. I don't have anything in mind, but just... I mean, when Krusty and Moon did it, there was a lot more, a lot more back and forth, you know? Poking at each other. Taking the piss out of how good Krusty looks. You know. Is that a tier 3 font? No, I don't think we get to tier 3 until the Asia finals, I'm pretty sure. Don't really need to come out and flame or anything, but just something, you know, a little bit of, a little bit of spice, a little bit of, um... Oh, the enjoy sign? Oh, maybe. <laughs> no. <laughs> they, they surely aren't allowed to draw the tier 3 font in the crowd. They'll be kicked out there as well. Did you see once again kick and length because of a leaked audio clip where he was forcing a girl to continue? No. I saw he left the team. Was that why then? I thought he just left because there was just like nothing to do. Lenexa kept saying enjoy. So clip. Oh, fuck. So it's a, it's a. Oh, I thought it was just like enjoy the Overwatch. Not. 
아, 너 알렉스 플라임. 아, 자신감 has a very different vibe now. All for one, one for all. 함께 만들어 나가는 특히나 우승에 간절하다는 얘기가 있었습니다. 그렇죠. 자, 페인 이제 올포로는 이제 선수들이 이제 승리를 좀 원한다. But it was just to enjoy the Overwatch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just thought it was a nice. I thought it was a nice and wholesome start. What am I looking at? I would be 100% real with you. Lengs are recently had a harassment scandal, so many Chinese fans are glad he's left once uncomfortable doing so. At the end of a recording was a mysterious short video of Lengsa sleeping in a hotel bed. Lengsa denied that anything overly untoward happened that but many people did not believe him. I'm seeing a few people say what's the big deal about this? Uh, even, nothing, even if nothing else happened the audio recording is disturbing to listen to. Lengsa was being very aggressive and demanding to her to drink more as she's begging him to stop saying that she already felt faint. <laughs> No. I thought the sign just wanted us to enjoy the Overwatch. How naive and innocent of me. But I figure as well, if you if you if you were once again you now off once again, ah, you're probably fucked in terms of having a career in China as well. Like what's the backup plan to that? Probably, probably a lot of nothing really. Wow. Well, even if the sign was about something else, I hope we all enjoy the Overwatch today. You woke up in time for Korea? There we go, Kuma. That's why I'm saying he wants to marry somebody. Take pineapple. Thoughts on SSG's chances today? I think really good. Really good. I think they'll get past VP and then we'll just have another classic SSG Ents grand final. Maybe another seven mapper or something. I think the game yesterday, Ents. Clutched it out, did deserve their win, but it was a really close series, really competitive, really high level of Juno stuff. So I think it'll be. Hope SSG win, but I think it'll be pretty neck and neck. Oh, new Juno artwork. How are Yama's chances against VP? Really bad, they lost yesterday. 3 0, I think it was. <laughs> <laughs> so, really, really bad, I reckon, Fork, unfortunately. <laughs> These are under... Yeah, I mean, they're okay. They're okay. But I don't know if they're saving the big guns for the later maps, you know? Maybe we're going we're gonna to increase in quality over time. Did I miss anything yet? No. Nope, still waiting for the first map to start. We've done the walkouts, done the interview. Was Theo frozen every blizzard? Yeah. 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 Top Dragon did his tip toppiest, but it wasn't enough. Wasn't enough. Felt like in general, AI were actually way more passive than they have been um, when we saw them on day one. So even though our top dragon was doing the thing, making the plays both on Echo and May, the rest of the the rest of the team just felt way more passive and contained than they had been, and it felt like uh, that's probably kind of just able to do what they want most of the time to them. Why is SSG so weak on Junker Town? I oh, know it's it's just twice now they've lost it to Ents, no? Is that right? Twice, but both in grand finals, or both in one this this upper bracket finals and one in grand finals. 
Yeah, I mean, to be fair, SSG was struggling on that attack anyway. Kai did have to clutch. We won stage two versus them. Oh, yeah, it was where you both got stuck on first. Yeah. So where else did they lose Junker Town? Are you just spreading misinformation, Jack? Because I obviously I remember one yesterday. That one, that one stuck in the memory. But I don't know if I have another memory of it. Against VP and OWCS2. Okay. And these are all pretty different metas though, no, right? So it seems a bit unrelated. Oh, we're just starting this. We're starting. We'll learn about Korean culture later. All right, so my first map. Proper Stalker in. Hanbin, Burner also in. Expecting to see lots of Diva, lots of Ram from both of them. Expecting to see a lot of May from Alpha Yi, a lot of Ash from Flora. <clears throat> Brig Juno is the expected. But I think we'll probably get a decent amount of Anna when they can get away with it. Oh, morning? Is that analysis I hear? Oh, you say morning. I actually didn't sleep. Oh. So, Good evening. Yeah, you can, can, can do a time check. Come on, prepare um, to attack. 28, 27, 26. Oh, wait, I'm, you're ahead of me. I'll count. 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21. Yeah, we're back. 20. Those we're, we're all in seconds as well, by the way. Oh, so it's going to clarify that. <laughs> so it's going to be a May Sombra to start with here for Zayt Division. So the Sombra's a bit of a rogue pick. Not seeing too much of that here. But May the Diva all seems to make more sense. So I imagine they're going to slingshot Burner in at a certain the point. He's calling to me. <laughs> oh, Field has actually gone back to swap to Brig here as well. So a little bit of a delay here. Falcon slowing it down. There's the Ring Dive in. The hack onto Proper. And they just obliterate him. But Violet, he's been run over in the meantime as well. Now, moving on towards point. Hanbin's trying to take care of this May. Forces out the ice block. Will look to punish after this. Trying to body block it out. Wall to save himself now from Alpha Yi. And they've actually, despite having proper immediately obliterated here, they've cleaned up on point and Falcons will take first control. Can I, can I get a rundown on the time you're at? Oh, I'm, I'm back. 5%. Oh, there's no time. They're filling 6%, a circle. 5%. 5%. 7%. How the fuck am I so behind? Now? 8%. I thought we just synced up. I thought we just synced up. Are you on the, are you on the Korean YouTube stream? Yeah, I'm on the Korean one. Mate, they haven't even capped. What? I'm too xing All right. We were we were counting like a 30 second decent. Can I get your time again? Uh, 21 percent, 22 percent. Oh my god, I'm still 10 seconds behind. What the fuck? Wait, keep going, keep pause? going. All right, 25 percent, 26 percent, 27 still percent, 28. This is also percent, 29 still percent, 30 percent, 31 percent, 32 percent. Oh, we fucking Perfect. done it. We've clutched up. We've clutched up. We've done it. Speaking of clutching okay, up, wonderful. Proper's clutching up as well. Sombra's taken care of, and this Sombra Gambit doesn't seem to have worked out so far for Zeta Division. They've dealt with it every time, and or at least got kills around it. They're going to dynamite the remake here, but Burner will be safely back into that one. And now we're getting to the first ult timings as Burner's still going to try and force his way through this choke. Yeah, I'm really wondering what Flora is hoping to achieve here on the Sombra. So difficult to play that on a long sightline map like this. He must know something that I do not, because I feel as if Prop is just going to have more value on the hitscan. Massive blizzard inside from Stalker, and down go all of Zeta Division. Finn invested the orbital ray into that, but seems to have gotten nothing for it whatsoever, because Stalker, I mean, he's just going to freeze up everyone from the side of Zeta. That's, what is that? Rally, Annihilation, and Blizzard investment from Falcons? Not a cheap fight whatsoever. Bernard over to the Ramatra now. And it is looking like Zeta Division, they're going to have a little bit of an ult swing here. They've got three ults online. The EMP probably the one to write home about, but let's see if Flora is going to be able to get anything done with it. Not really known for having a legendary Sombra, but, you know, when you're back to the wall against Falcons. He's just walking in at the choke now. Hack onto the front line. We'll get the last little bits of his EMP. Wall comes out onto Burner now. There we go. Blitz is going to be dropped. Orbital Ray trying to save him. They actually kill Violet during all of this as well. So Flora, he still has the EMP, but no chance to use it. He's and... saving it for next round. Good shit. All right. So they're going to start next fight with an EMP, which will be useful because they, they need to win a fight probably in this finals at some point. You know, I think it would actually be brilliant if they started next with an EMP. I feel like that would... Oh, wait, he just wasted it in spawn. Now we can't even use it for first fight on Volcano. What are you doing, Flora? Unbelievable, man. Vision greater than Flora? Get a grip. Get a fucking grip. I mean, look, we're not, we're not, we're not in fucking La La Land right now. Be, be so serious. Like, unbelievable. <clears throat> Hello, Adele. Did I tell you I had a dream about you last night? 
An inventory. That is just not uh, something that I need to be hearing off rip. Like. Well, it's, it's not what you expect. So the dream was, I was cast, I was co-streaming the game, and then the broadcast started a rumor that you had broken one of Finn's fingers, and then I didn't believe it. I was denying it on stream, and then it cut to a clip of you and Aspen high-fiving, celebrating you breaking Finn's fingers. So, um, we'll see if that transpires, but it seems for now Finn's fingers mixing... are okay. You are mixing work and pleasure far too much in your dreams. You need to have a safe space where you can think about things that you want to think about in your spare time because that is just not on at all. Proper with a free fight pick on to Finn? I'm kind of matching the Korean caster's assessment of that situation. What? How have they fucking managed that one? Free fight on the Juno with a Brig Malga comp? So brawly. And then the supports of Zeddy just fall over. Both of them dead at the very start of this fight. Violet and Finn both deciding who can get picked faster and now falcons totally in control tracer may instead of the hit scan may oh fielder on the kiriko as well instead of the brig i'm interested by this one i wonder why he played the brig on the wide open map but now here on volcano has opted to go for the kiriko this really it, um it doesn't make sense to me but i'm sure that there's logic behind it and i'm sure that it's rock solid because this is falcons fielder we're talking about overwatch league champion they're coming through the inside track now, and Flora, he's back on the Sombra here, so looks like, I guess he's just going to be frontlining with this mainly. Now, I don't know if it's great target. He's actually gone for the Juno here, so he's going for the Juno, but Chio slips away, gets that pocket through from Fielder, but they walk onto Stalker during that. Now they have the player advantage. They'll get the wall onto Hanbin too. They'll try and focus him down. No form. Hack onto the top of him as well. Proper trying to deal with the Sombra, trying to clear him up, and he can do it. They've survived. It looked like Hanbin was all hung out to dry, but they come back, they deal with him, and for a marcher, just so strong at brawling on this point. Alfie with a couple of trades, both for backliners, but still no success. Alfie has to reset, and Zeta Division, they are short on time. Yeah, look, I'm really not sure what Zeta Division are hoping to accomplish with this swath of swaps every round. Actually just taking the mick, now Flora over to the Sombra in an attempt to not ult once in the entire map from the looks of things. At least Zeta's first pick supports have managed to build their ultimates, but I mean, Falcons, they're going to be able to eat through this no problem at all. Unless, of course, Flora opens up with a nice manual hack on Hanbin and he gets global before any assistance can come out. Chio wants to go for the win despite it? Actually sticks Violet, proper six Violet, but you know, Violet manages to trade out. So she's still not looking very good for Falcons. Stalker has the Blizzard. Surely you don't use this one 1v5. All right, so Falcons, they are going to lose off the back of a nice opening manual hack from the side of Flora, but overall just looking so dodgy for Zeta. So rocky on their feet. Yeah, we've seen Hanbin. He's passed the test most of the time, but fails the check there to deny the hack. And... Now, at least Division, State Division are able to clean up off the back of that. They have the EMP for the next fight. And we can see what should be a fundamental part of why you pick for Sombra in these comps. Going, going to go for Manual Hack again. Gets cancelled this time, though. Will try and disengage this Kitsune Rush. They're walking back. Rally to turn it. Blizzard to turn it. And it's all sorts of frozen. He'll get taken down. Now they still have this EMP if they need it here. But Violet's looking good. Another bash. We'll clean this one up. Stagger out Fielder a little bit, too. And Zeta Division, they finally arrived in this grand final. Finally, I mean, it took a while. That's the thing about Violet. He's an old man. He's got to limber up for the game, you know, get his throwing arm in form. But now he's ready to rumble. Flora, I mean, I'm not sure if it's a limbering up issue or if the fact that he's just a fucking moron because he's a hit scan player. But at the end of the day, Zeta Division, they've come back alive. One manual hack, you know, a nice little rally from Violet. And we're back in it. Falcons over on the rotation. Stalker, he's feeling a lot of pressure right now because it's so hard to get the Blizzard when you know the enemy team has EMP. They can just cancel your Blizzard straight away. Flora, he throws his TP onto the ground just to get himself back in stealth and he's repositioning once again for this ultimate. Hanbin all over the point throws down the Annihilation and she has an EMP. It is massive. But the only person to die to Flora's EMP is Flora. So it's looking like Zeta Division. Not only have they lost the cap in mere seconds, I think I'm going to be able to say that they've lost the round. Like I was saying, still winnable for Zeta Division as Finn gets those orbs, takes down proper, but it is a two versus four right now. Bernard with a legendary stall jumping up and down on the bounce pad. Surely oh. he won't get the resuit here. Flora's good for the touch. Alpha Yi's back on the big reaps, but I don't think this is going to be quite enough for them to close it out. I'm going to need a bit of a miracle here. And well, while the, while the EMP took, made short work of that blizzard, really happy with that. They didn't account for the fact, well, they still have Annihilation. And I feel like some of their neutral game wasn't just to farm loads of EMP. It was to set up for these Juno assassinations. Sombra gets in behind, tag teams for D.Va from the front. And then they just one-shot this Juno. But 
We do, I don't think we actually saw Virgino ever really get first picks in any of these fights, and it seems like it didn't really work, and especially Volcano feels like a very small and small map where it's a hard to get no setups. So, yeah, really not, really not sure about this Sombra pick, and it'll end up being a pretty straightforward one for Falcons in the end. Yeah, I think it's honestly rather bizarre to see a Juno getting first picked in this matchup. The only Junos that get first picked are Funny Astro and Funny Astro. So this is really weird to see it happening in OWCS Korea, where we expect a higher standard of play, the KR level of play, if you will. So, uh, I mean, may maybe it's just a little bit more of that warm-up phase for the side of Zeta Division. I'm really hoping we don't see any more Flora Sombra, because that, look, it won them one fight with a manual hack, but all of the alt turns non-existent. Flora seems to be paralyzed. He's got locked-in syndrome in all the wrong ways when it comes to getting his ult off, because there's just no fucking hope for the guy. Can't find an impactful EMP to save his life. And if you can't get any ult value, I mean, just just go just go Ash, man. You're a hit scan player. Go Ash. Let the Bob shoot for you. It's way easier than thinking about your EMP and then cocking it up and dying. Well, I thought as well when I watched them play last week, I thought they looked really good on the May Ash version of the comp as well. I think it was a really good strength for them. So surprised that they're, I guess they're just trying to trying to get a, I don't know, throw a curveball at the start, see if they can cheese a bit of a win or cheese a couple of rounds, but doesn't work out and probably hoping it's their, their map pick now. Maybe we'll just get something a little bit more standard for the next one. Yeah. Well, look, the upshot here is that because we're watching a Korean tournament run by WDG, <laughs> the gaps between maps are massive. We got, we got, we got time. Yeah. We got time for slop, but also for me to get my ass back in the kitchen and clean up the mess that I made spilling the coffee all over the stovetop. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get right on that. But I, I will have to find some slop for the viewers um, before I go stand in frame in the kitchen. <laughs> Infected mm. gets coached by Kefri on Sim. That sounds fucking perfect. All right, see. <laughs> that sounds top tier, actually. Is Happy going to get off a bench anytime soon? Uh, I really don't think so, no. Who bribed you to manipulate the market like this? So, yeah, I, I, to be fair, I think my logic still sound, right? This was not a test of my logic. My logic was they looked better on the meta. But Sombra Diva... Not the meta they were playing last week. <laughs> so, doesn't work out from there. I mean, I, I guess it's inspired. Does anyone remember the... I want to say, was it New Junk City, Falcons against Crazy Raccoon? Where proper swap Sombra. And clutches out New Junk City for him. But that was obviously into a Juno, Luci Juno Lucio backline because Crazy Raccoon had swapped to get back fast. But yeah, but with no, but with the Kiri and the Brig, I think it's, um, I think it's uh, a much harder to connect on that Juno. We'll give it one shot. Uh, Falcons, Falcons first map Kinail. Zeta Division tried a Sombra comp and got zero success. Zero success. So yeah, I really hope we just see more of, uh, more of I guess what we would call like the standard meta at this point. That was a stomp. A stomp, really. To be fair, I think a lot of it was just the Sombra got zero value, right? Um, and also because they're playing the Sombra, they're also playing the Diva with it. So they could go like for some classic Sombra dive timings. Um, but not one of them actually came off, right? And while that's going on, it just means the Ramatra can really take over the map. Um, especially uh, on Beach, it was true. But also especially on Volcano, it's a very good map for the Ramatra. Yeah, so I get the idea they were trying, but I don't think it actually, it didn't transpire once, really. Lots of the hacks cancelled as well, you know, like every time he went for those frontline hacks on Hanbin, I think he got one of them off where they did one-shot Hanbin as a result of it. But a lot of the others was either interrupted by Prop or interrupted by Hanbin himself. The Kiriko was an interesting pick from Filder. I don't think the Kiriko was a Sombra-specific thing either from Filder. I think, you know, we talk about, we talked a lot, maybe if you were here watching some of EMA in North America, how about how you would see that Vianna was maybe a little bit better into the Ram in some situations, but the Brig was way better into the Diva. I think the Kiriko is a bit of a halfway house because we saw obviously in EMEA in North America, a lot of Brigs had a lot of trouble surviving in this Ram mirror still. And I think the Kiriko maybe provides a bit of an alternative where you have a few more options in terms of escape tools versus a Ramatra. You've still got a good ult. Suzu's actually just a really powerful cooldown in all situations, especially against some of the ults you will run into in that mirror. So I think the Kiri might just be an alternative to the Brig really. Uh, quite a few of the same things apply, but 
But brawl power of a brig, I feel like, should be better more often than not, as long as your brig can live. Alright, so obviously we're on a we're in we're in Korea, so it's losers pick system, we're in OWCS, which means it'll be mode and map pick for the side of Zeta Division. So we'll see where they choose to go. Obviously, the expectations here for the most part is hybrid and escort will be at the top of the list because they have a maps with uh, um I guess the most sort of niche picks available. So we'll, there's a chance to go to Circle Royale or something. To be fair, Circle Royale will probably just get like a, a Ram Juno mirror these days. But there's also options. The only options where I don't think we'll see a Juno version of a comp are maybe stuff like Dorado. Maybe Dorado, maybe even a Runa Sappy. Or a Blizzard World, you can get some Anna Brig actually going still. It'll be King's Row, you reckon? Uh, yeah, EMEA games later. There's the lower bracket final, which will be VP versus SSG. And then the winner of that will play Ents. And that will also... Both of those games are happening today. I think it starts the same time. So 5 p.m. GMT. <laughs> I don't know why. I, I, I clarified p.m. in case anyone was uh, going to mistake it for a.m. <laughs> Are they the same thing? BST and GMT? BST is what they always use when the Americans talk to me. What's the difference? Is it just because the B is the British is summertime? GMT is without summertime, or what's it? Yeah, so it's just ones with ones with. Uh, okay. Yeah, I understand what they stand for. British daylight is our daylight saving. I don't. Know, what's the information I'm getting here? It's September. Greenwich Mean Time is the universal coordinate time that we're on the other half of the year. Right. <laughs> I don't understand what the I don't understand what the feedback here is. Right, yeah. Okay, GMT zero. Yeah. What did I say then? Did I say GMT or did I say PST? I care so little, but tell me anyway. Tell me anyway. <laughs> what's, what's the feedback here? Come on, I've had four hours sleep. What's the fucking feedback? I've broken my mic now as well. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> well, I don't understand. Well, I don't even understand what the feedback is. What's for your point? All I've got, all I've read is GMT and BSC are different. Right? <laughs> <laughs> but what's what's that in response to? <laughs> what's that in response? What are we talking about? What is this in response to? <laughs> we currently aren't on GMT. Yeah, I know. What did I did I say GMT or did I say BST? That's the question I have. Can anyone answer that question? You said BST, which is correct, right? You said GMT. Fuck me. Oh, does anyone care? <laughs> oh, fuck me. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> uh... Thank you, Chime. Finally, someone I want to talk to. Finally, somebody I want to talk to. I think Zeta will still win. I think that first map, even though they played for Sombra, wasn't an indication of of how this matchup will actually go. I think, to be fair, we still saw Alpha. He got pretty decent value once, but once Zeta actually took a friggin' fight. Yeah, 
제가 이 오버워치 e스포츠와 함께 한 지도 참 오래됐습니다. 그렇죠? 네. 뭐 에이펙스 때 그립다 뭐 이런 분들도 uh, 계시고 He's been playing the piano for the 15th time. He loves the piano, mate. Yeah, he's got to fucking stop that, man. Doing it once, it's like, yeah. What's he playing today? I don't recognize the song. I think it might be by Cardi B. Ah, yeah, no, nah, actually, that, that could have been, could have been something like that. That's a, that's a fucking rogue one from you, Xavier. I didn't know that you knew Cardi B. Some of the young, some of the young people in chat say her, to say her name, and uh, I. I don't know who she is, but uh, she seems relevant to the to the youth of today. Oh, I hate the auto. Not again! Oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> He's back on it now. Thank this you, makes Mike. sense. Actually, they're playing Anna. Feels playing Anna, right? So like they're gonna go it, Sombra. It feels more reasonable. Diva. Yeah. Kill Vianna. Kill Vianna, can... take him out of the game. So, that's the plan. They need to get Flora in first. Oh, Just going to go for a wall hack, oh, actually. But Hambin does get the form off. Defensive nade from Filder. Keeps him in play for now. And Burner will take a step back. Seems like a pretty consistent play that they're able to get off now that, you know, Flora has found his groove. These hacks on the tank, helping to really displace Hambin. And until I see a kill on him, I'm not going to be convinced. Instead, it seems like we've got a kill onto proper. So, not a bad start. Gonna be able to give a clean up here, and now, yeah, much better start overall. They can have this orbital ray really quickly as well from Finn. Alpha Yi, close snap, Blizzard 2. Violet has for rally coming up, so a lot of good ults to try and finish this one with. And really, Falcon's actually gonna make the swap on to Brig as well, so it seems a reasonable enough swap, make it trickier for Flora to find these engaged timings. Might now change target a little bit more to the Juno. We didn't really see them connect and find that kill very often on Samoa. We'll see if they can do it here because Flora is set up ready behind. He's looking for it. He's going for it. And there's the fly in. They're on top of Chio. The pocket's coming through though. One pack, two pack. They will get him through. And Alfie E, he's dropped the Blizzard on point. In the meantime, they're just going to demolish Hambin. So Burner, he doesn't get the kill. He will get Blizzarded. But Falcons, they're just dead on point. Zeta Division on a capitalist regardless of Burner's mech. Yeah, I mean, look, maybe it was a little bit greedy for Fielder to roll out on the arm and needing to swap over to the Brig, meaning that there's no flex support ult in play for the side of Falcons. They just don't have enough to respond to that push from Zeta Division. Nice Blizzard from Alpha at the end there, but now, I mean, looking over to the second point, it looks like Sombra might actually low-key be meta. Looks like Vision might have been ahead of the curve and nobody knew it. Nobody believed him because he was too busy fucking it up because now Proper is matching the Sombra. It's not just Flora who's oh. on the Sombra pipe right now. It's also proper. Chio has the orbital ray, but I mean, look, Flora, no, for fuck's sake, man, what are you even doing? You're just, you're just envious when you don't have the ult. Orbital ray comes out from Finn to match Harmon's annihilation, and Harmon is walled off so, so low, but the orbital ray comes back from Chio, keeps him alive. Five-man EMP from Flora, though. Holy shit. That is going to clean up Falcons in no time at all. First map looked like Falcon City, you know? Welcome to Falcon City, but unfortunately here <laughs> on Circa Royale could not be further from the truth. Zeta Division just snowballing through the second point right now. Are they going to get a touch? It looks like looks like fuckers might be able to get back out on this. Yeah, coming back with a rally as well. Alpha, you're getting close to the Blizzard, but will get hacked initially, so has to take a step back here, and they will get another neutral wall now onto Hambin. They're looking for that timing pressure onto him. Hambin does manage to deep peek. Fielder looking for that rally opportunity, but he has to be wary. This Blizzard is so close from Alpha. The wall is good, looking for the connect. Still, Fielder won't press it. Scared of the Blizzard. Blizzard comes out, and Hambin, is he going to get stuck? No, he gets around the corner. He is walled off. Now the rally comes out from Fielder. They catch Violet. They get the turn. Such good patience by Fielder. Knew the Blizzard was come and expected it, baits it out, saves his bash, and Ben uses the rally to finish the fight. And now, EMP for the next fight for proper, they're gonna stagger the baby diva. Falcons have found, found their footing. Yeah, no, really nice there from Fielder. You know, typical Fielder, patient bastard that he is. Zeta Division now, I mean, they're, they're in a bit of a tight spot. Alt-wise, they have to retake up this slope, which is so, so awkward when the enemy team can just drop on you at any moment. Proper in pole position with this EMP as well. Looks for it, gets four, only Violet escapes, and that's just going to be, again, a full wipe for the side of Falcons. No escape for Zeta. I don't think they're even going to be able to get a trade here. If Bernard gets staggered as well, I might shed a lone tear for poor little Bernie, as you can see, Falcons, they're going the distance. They want this all. Proper pushing all the way to the spawn, trying to hack up Bernard, trying to get that suit. A little bit greedy to go this far, though. I'm wondering if there's any risk of him being traded. Probably not, because Falcons actually pushed up with him. Just because Proper was the tip of the spear didn't mean that there wasn't a nice long shaft right behind him. 
Oh. Field are in a little bit of trouble there. Does manage to bash out, though. And Zeta Division now have all five ults coming up. So we're going to see a big old throw down here. Falcons only with three. So they can start in this ult trade. But they need to try and cheat one of these ults if they might be in trouble. Burner's going to fly through. Orbital Ray will get dropped in by Finn. Trying to turn on. Wall comes out. Orbital Ray and Annihilation response. But he's in the blizzard here. Hambin, the Orbital Ray healing is not enough. Chio manages to get frozen as well. Trying to save Hambin. And now they found the conversion. They've held on to this EMP crucially as well. Zeta Division. They should should be able to get i should be able to get cap off this i guess the payload actually rolled back quite a bit i thought it was closer so maybe there's a recontest but they have blizzard but they're running into an emp here so it's going to be a tough one for falcons and retaking into this EMP is going to be absolutely brutal. Fortunately, it's a Flora EMP, so it's typically plagued by indecision. <laughs> then again, Alfie could just hit the God Wall, pinning Harmbin in the corner so that he's wiggling around, unable to move, unable to do anything, but eight shots to the head. And that's just going to be an easy second point cap for Zeta Division. That last fight with the Blizzard, so crucial, as now they get to roll through third. EMP still in the back pocket. Bernar with a bomb to keep himself safe if he wants to go aggressive. No, not that sort of keep yourself safe. And now we've got Flora over on the coast, spying checking proper with his head two invisible sombras passing by each other like ships in the night but the holes scratched one another so now we've got proper once again creeping up that same flank proper setting up for the emp i mean flora setting up the emp and he does actually manage to take down chio bernard goes down well bernard goes and takes down chio alfie cops fielder as well and it's just gonna be a clean wipe these emps i mean when we were on samoa it looked like emp was a bloody useless ult the way flora was using it but now here on circuit royale wipe every EMP time is, it's an instant five man wipe yeah, beautiful. You can see how quickly they charge as well, because Proper coming up to his second one as well here. So they've got the Blizzard, they've got the Rani, they've got the EMP Falcons, they have the tools to hold, and Zeta Division here. They've only got the self-destruct here, so I think if you're Zeta Division, you get the payload as far as you can. Maybe you try and go for a hack timing. Flora is in position for that now. Wants to hit the May, actually. Stalker won't get... Won't survive, but Burner a little bit late on his timing, so Ice Block is available. Fielder goes out as well, but now they've got access to the high ground here. Burner and Flora may be looking for something. Meanwhile, Proper, he's keen to pull the trigger. EMP into the back line, waste no time. Here comes the round through the front, and they just, there's just no hope of saving Violet from that situation. Alfie somehow has just juked for a while, but will go down. Burner and Flora are still alive behind, but they just need to be careful not to get staggered out too much here. You can see Burner playing. Oh, going the long way out. We'll take a take a brief respite here through first and second, but we'll get out. And now Zeta Division coming up to some of the uh, bigger ults. EMP just around the corner too. Jeez, they didn't know Bernie had that dog in him going around the coast over to the first point to escape this one. Now, the Zeta Division, I mean, they're pushing up. And if Flora just plays a little bit more Sombra 76, he's going to have that EMP. Closing it on a five old fight for Zeta. Stalker's blizzards have been deadly throughout this series, but let's see if he can make it happen again. Proper's actually gone back into spawn, swapped over to the Ash for this final fight. Doesn't think that he's going to build another EMP, and clearly they value the ult more than they do the damage in the neutral. Proper, though, being shifted on by Bernard, and just... Oh, wait, he wasn't taken out. I thought I think he was one health there. Yeah. Proper actually managed to survive this one. Blizzard's out on the carpet. Flora EMP, Stalker's Blizzard. And that's just going to be a wash. Zeta Division, an easy win. These EMPs are actually coming in so clutch, shutting down poor little Stalker with the Blizzard. You can't Blizzard when Sombra has EMP. So if you can hold on to that thing, you can completely shut down the enemy's ult. They can't even use it. We saw kind of two different uses a little bit. When Proper had the EMP, he seemed very quick, very keen just to use the EMP. Hey, I can get a big EMP. Let's wipe the team. And a couple of times, 8 Division just said, okay, yeah, I guess we got five man, four man EMP. We're just going to die. But both of these EMPs from Flora were used in these sort of big nine, ten ult fights. And you see both... Here on that second that we're just seeing and that final fight we saw on third, it's just an overwhelming advantage when they have that situation. Suddenly nobody has any cooldowns, no matrix for a second. If there's any blizzard, it is gone. And maybe we're starting to see a little bit more of how the Sombra was intended to work on Samoa here on this Circuit Royale because it's certainly helping Zeta in a lot of these big ult fights. I'm definitely starting to see the vision, even if Flora's execution in the first map put me off, you know, had me turning my nose at it. I'm starting to see, I'm starting to believe. Flora now, as he's, you know, he's given me a little bit of belief, he's actually decided to swap over to the Ash for the defense. It looks like, you know, maybe on the offense, they want to value these big old turns of the EMP. They think that, you know, win a fight a couple of times per point, and that'll do it. 
But that strategy doesn't work on defense. On defense, you need robustness. You need a consistent neutral fight winning comp. Because if you can't win a neutral fight, the cart will just roll on along all the way to the end. So Zeta Division, now they're picking up the Ash. They have that stronger neutral damage. You can see Fielder has actually gone the Ana once more. Maybe he's just going to throw a sleep out of spawn and then swap. I'm not too sure. But the Ana, I mean, it would have been a riskier pick were Flora on the Sombra. No, the Fielder is dicking around in spawn. Can you make up your mind? Looks like Proper's going to go get onto Venture now. Okay. So may venture coming out for Falcons, a little bit more aggression. These nano these nano turns are gonna be seriously deadly for Falcons. Yeah, the venture can do so much in this sort of ram rule. We're saying that though, Slow's just gonna connect from Hamburg and they'll just take down Finn, no problem. So this fight over before it starts. Venture didn't and Anna didn't even really have to do that much in the end. Alfie good for a trade, will catch Fielder. But now Falcons. They're in, they've gotten this payload moving, and one thing we've seen Fielder do, we sort of use two styles. One, where if there's a big part of a map, he'll play right at the back in a classic anchor position. But he's also been using, ah, I'm going to stop talking about it, because he's just swapped to Brig anyway. So I guess it was just for the first fight. Flora's gone Sombra, so Fielder wants to play Brig now instead. A little bit more durable. And I feel like, for Sombra, we saw the powerful EMP turns, but in the neutral here against the Venture May, might be very tricky for Zeta Division to handle this push from Falcons. Yeah, look, we'll see if Flora's actually able to find a manual hack on anybody. He hacks up Harmon, down goes that block, and he has to give a little bit of space. But Zeta, they're not out of the woods yet by any means. Harmon already 70% on that Annihilation, so far ahead of Bernard. Stalker matching Alfie, his Blizzard charge, but Violet taken so, so low. Harmon not able to close it out, not able to push all the way. Alfie, he's had to commit the Ice Block, though. This is starting to get dicey for Zeta. Look at Bernard's health bar, just a sliver of it. He gets that second form. Orbital Ray comes out from Chio, and that's ahead of any of Zeta Division support ultimates. The Blizzard comes out from Alfie, is anyone going to be frozen? And up by that, it looks like the answer is a resounding no. Could have even been a Majax, to be honest. I can't see the blizzard on the ground. It. But I mean, right. how could you expect anyone to see a blizzard on the ground when there's a fucking orbital ray flying across the screen, covering you, covering your entire field of view in shit? Yeah, unfortunately, the light was too bright to see what was going on there. But the result is Falcons have captured the first point, used two of their bigger ops for it. Proper's now going to go Sojourn as we do seem to play a little bit, a little bit of musical heroes here with their second DPS pick. But the May's still locked in, and Stalker now has this Blizzard for this next fight. Needs to be cautious, focused. Flora does have that EMP. This maybe means Fielder has to start and do something with the Rally, but they're just behind in ultimates here, Falcons. So they have to play it slow. They have to try and cheat the economy somehow, give themselves an opportunity to equalize this or disengage engage one of the ults. A manual hack around the corner onto Hambin. Now the ring engaged, but Bernard doesn't pull the trigger. They're going to use Orbital right now in response to this rally. Blizzard from the side from Stalker setting this one up, but there's the EMP to finish it, and it's just no chance here. Stalker, when will you learn your lesson? Well, Xavier, you know what they say, if you ain't cheating, you ain't trying, and it's starting to look like Falcons ain't trying one bit, because they are just mashing their faces head-on, big ult fights, into the EMP, and I mean, what can they possibly expect? Flora has an EMP, what are you doing throwing out the rally, pushing aggressively with the Blizzard as well? Get a grip, man, there's no hope for you there. Team Falcons completely dropping the ball on the macro, perhaps they didn't track that EMP somehow, they lost track of Flora's damage, because that is just obscene, terrible fight for Falcons. Now they have to retake down on ults, down on positioning, annihilation not even needed to be used by Bernard for him to just walk all over proper. And now Falcons, I mean, they're trying to collapse on Bernie, but he has all the cooldowns in the world at his fingertips. No cart push coming through for Falcons right now. And with the second form, we're just going to see Bernard rip through the remainder of uh, Team Falcons. Actually, a trade from Harbin onto Violet. Typical Violet behavior, they're getting traded for no reason. But... Again, Zeta, I mean, this hold is so strong. They didn't have to use a single ultimate there. Flora 60% on another EMP. This ult cycle is brutal. Yeah, you saw Flora, he started a few of these fights behind on the low ground, sets up that kill for proper, uh, or that kill onto proper from Burner as well. So I imagine we'll see some more of the same. They do scout Flora out this time, so he's now in front of them, so Falcons have a bit of an opportunity to move, but getting so close to the EMP, and they just have the other four ults as well, because they won that previous one without using anything. So still a good position here. Overclock will be used, response of the orbital raid. Chio's going to layer his over the top now. Hack onto Stalker through, and he's taken Finn out of the air now. They're all in a massive slow, and proper's going to kill more. That slow did so much, made it easy for Proper on that second kill. And now, no chance to use a lot of these ults. Sage Division, they had so much, but they used so little. They have a chance of a retake here, and that EMP will be in play against Stalker's Blizzard one more time. 
genuinely unreal that Zeta Division has so many ults to play with and they decided that they would just rather go back to spawn and reset. Team Falcons only using an overclock and a um, orbital ray and somehow Zeta let them just walk away with it, not matching any ultimates. Here comes the rally from Violet. The, oh wait, Laura EMP'd there as well. Was that an EMP? No, no, no. I feel this hacked. So he did get that EMP off. It's not quite over yet, but it is looking like Falcons are going to be losing this one. Just big, fast ultimate investments from either side. Straight out the gate, Stalker pops that Blizzard. I'm pretty sure he's had that EMP'd away it into was, the ether. Yeah, Field yeah. to pop the rally. Yeah, no. Nah, sticky Stalker, mate. Stick to Tracer, buddy. It's not looking so good for you on May versus a Sombra. Flora, he was doing too much on the Sombra, so he's decided he's going to go Ash now. I guess they just want to... <laughs> they have no confidence. Yeah. They have no confidence and they can win the fight without the EMP. So instead, they're going to swap them over to the Ash. Play for that high neutral high neutral damage theory again. Even better, the Ash is here on this high ground where you can dynamite the rotations, get big damage on all of their crosses. So this does make sense. This does make sense. But I just love to hate on Flora. Bernard has the Annihilation, but that's the only ultimate in Zeta Division's hands. Harmon has one to match. And Chia is so far ahead on the Orbital Ray. So far ahead, he's 5% ahead, dude. Use your fucking eyes. Uh, Chia and Finn relatively close on the orbital rays so honestly it could go either way the positioning favors zeta division but not by much as falcons have managed to edge their way up the slope and now Harmon, he has a deep angle he has a health advantage and you can see that he wants to close out he wants to get that annihilation off orbital rays come out from either side once again zeta division neither cheating i mean <laughs> falcons neither cheating nor trying as they don't try to kite any else they just continue to invest and invest now proper with another overclock last time we saw this ultimate he was able to take names all over the map but this time around, he can't finish the kill on Flora. Bernard takes him out with the Annihilation. Alpha Yi has thrown down his own Blizzard, but I'm not entirely sure where it is. Falcons feel it. Fielder actually opted to die with that rally. He built rally before dying. And I mean, if we look over at the clock right now, Xavier, it's starting to look like that judgment might have been a little bit of a swing and a miss from Fielder. Look at Proper now, padding KD, walking back to spawn. Doesn't want his stats ruined. Yeah, there we go. Beautiful from Zayn Division in the end, but, but Blizzard did manage to catch Hambin. So while Hambin went deep, Alpha E was there to match with the Blizzard. And honestly, I know while Stalker's been having all these EMP problems, all of his Blizzards being cancelled, Alpha E has slowly but surely just nailed every single Blizzard he's used, I think, on that map. Every time the RAM is frozen, if not more people. Alpha E, I think, putting on a bit of a bit of a clinic so far. Doesn't have the same problem, obviously, that Stalker does in terms of the EMP stuff. But I think Alpha E, very impressive. Zayn Division, punch right back, tied up one to one. And it feels like we might be getting the series we hoped for. Happy to see it, to be honest. Happy to see that it's not just going to be a 4-0 wash. <laughs> I'm renewed enough from a few hours off stream that I'm happy to be a quality Overwatch gamer rather than a results-based one. And um, you know what? The best thing about this broadcast is, of course, the WDG breaks, which means that I have more than enough time to consume some slop with my dear, dear friends. So I'll see you on the other side, Xavier. Roger that, buddy. Oh, been upgraded to, been upgraded to buddy. I like that. <laughs> you know, Chris won't accept you as a friend, Max, but you and me, we're buddies. That's wonderful. I mean, you dream of me, Xavier, so I think you might have to look inwards and wonder whether I'm more than just a buddy to you. But all right, I'll, I'll see you, mate. In a bit. All right. Let's do a quick break then while we've got where we go or at the start and then we can talk a little bit about that because we the Sombra stuff's interesting, right? Seems really powerful in the alt rotations. A bit weaker in the neutral. Um but they're kind of relying on those just like hack engages, right? Because we saw that one where they killed the Sojin, right? Proper Proper's trying to swing, but then Flora hits the hack, burner comes from the other side, they just pinch of them and it's enough to just burn through the damage, so. All right. Yeah. Give me a sec. I'll be right back. I'll drop you an ad while I'm gone. Obviously, if you want to get your predictions in, get your predictions in. You can vote for stuff. Vote for stuff. Spend some of your hard-earned channel points. And I'll be right back.
What did I miss? You gonna buy the headset because of the cum? <laughs> you get that headset, you can pour cum on yourself. It's part of a product. So, the Sombra stuff is the Sombra stuff is new. Not seen any of the EMEA teams try any of that. Missed. Uh, so actually, you missed uh, a pretty one-sided Samoa. Zeta rolled out on the on a May Sombra version of the rat of the, well, the Diva Brig, and it didn't work at all. Didn't work at all. Very limited success. But on Circuit Royale, we saw a little bit more. Oh, the cum headset? Oh. <laughs> Sorry, that's my mistake for presuming we were more interested in Overwatch than cum, but of course we're more interested in cum. Um, it's just a headset for a, there's a headset for an advert, and it's a very standard headset advert. It's talking about the sound quality. It's talking about the charge time, the battery life. And then, uh, and then some guy just pours cum on himself partway through the advert. And then... <laughs> <laughs> and then it just goes back to saying, what a great headset this is. Keep your eyes out for it. Yeah, free time, you get three times more juice. So keep your eyes on it next time we go to an ad break. When they do the little, when we do the countdown clock, you'll see, uh, you'll see the headset advert. <laughs> great first time message. Yep. Um, talking about cum. Talking about cum. <laughs> three times more cum? Is that real? Yeah. If you, if you're busy, you ever pour cum on yourself and you just think, I wish I had three times as, as much cum. Then this headset is for you. Yeah. Well, do I have a pro do I have a product for you, Favai? All right, Runa Sappy next. I mean, to be honest, with with Juno with a meta, it's so Juno heavy, and we've just seen this Ram Brig or maybe sometimes with Diva variant everywhere. Maybe does the map even matter that much? Does it matter that much? I'm just gonna play Sombra, Ram Brig anyway. We'll see what they roll out on here. The Sombra certainly seems to come into play a little bit more when we had more fights, right? On control, you can kind of just get blitzed. We saw on the first round of control, Sombra. Flora didn't even get any MP on the Sombra. But once we got over to Circuit Royale, there was more fights, more time for that EMP to come into play. And in these big, in these big multiple alt traits that we see so often in this Brina's Juno Brick Mirror, the EMP just wipes them. They just won those fights convincingly. <laughs> so we're going over to Rina Sappy. No changes on either side. Which leads me to believe we're in for more of the same. I expect both teams to roll out on Brig here. And the big, the big question is what do Proper and Flora play? Maybe a little bit of a question on Burner, right? It seems like they tried for D.Va. They wanted some of that maybe assassin style in terms of the Sombra goes behind, finds the hack, Burner connects with your target. But that didn't work all that often. It actually had more success when Flora was doing it with Burner on Ram. So, I don't know. I can dig it. I can dig the Sombra. But because I can dig the Sombra, apparently these teams can't. So we're just going to see the mirror here. So my theory going into this after watching last week was actually that Zeta Division have a better a better read on the neutral. I think as much as we saw Stalker run into loads of problems against the Sombra there in terms of getting Blizzard value, I actually think Alpha Yi is probably just the best mate in Korea right now. So... Is that... Mm -hmm. Is that your take? Is, is that confirmed? Alpha Yi, best mate in Korea? Best mate in Korea, yeah. Well, he doesn't Obviously. get 100% of his ult TMP, so it's a pretty good reference compared to Falcons. <laughs> no. He'll have to do it in a more even situation this time, but I've got I've got faith in the Yi. Faith in the Yi, and we're going to get this Ash Mirror, so a bit more of what we saw last week here. Going to be an early swing onto the coast side. Walls come out. Wall off onto Stalker, though, so we can't follow up on that one. They're going to try and put some pressure onto Hambit. They don't find all that much value here, and it looks like they're going to try and go through the intersect here. Try and get some pressure on Fielder. He's awfully close. He's caught in the slot. Oh, he gets punished for it now. Alpha he finishes that one off. They have the player advantage, but they have to be wary because this Ram is still behind. Violet having to back up, having to give a little bit.
bit of space. They can regroup. They're so separated from Burner, though. So Burner's taken so much damage. He needs help. Defensive wall just about saves Burner's life. They still have player advantage now, but their window is closing. Falcons, they've been able to stabilize here. And now they'll soon be back to full strength. Another form trade comes out. Hamvin trying to find something, but can't get anything with that. Now it's Zeta's turn. Proper's going to try and swing on the flank. Wow, this happens, though. And Burner, again, just trading damage. Slow at the choke. Wall comes out defensively here. And Proper on the flank. We'll get forced away a little bit here. Orbital Ray is up slightly quicker for Finn if he wants to drop this one. Don't know if he realizes he has this slight advantage, so it might just be a big old ult trade. There is that Orbital Ray coming through now. Blizzard is available for Stalker. Annihilation first from Hanbin, though. Chio's responded with the Orbital Ray. Ult's not quite there for Zeta Division. Stalker goes for the Blizzard. How many people are frozen, though? It and just freeze Burner. He gets taken down, and now Hanbin, still with that Ray coming, will just demolish everyone there. And just a slight ult advantage on so many of these ults. Falcons get some over in this first fight. Yeah, no, I mean, the discipline from Falcons to just stay alive there, not push out of the choke, but constantly do so much damage. Stalker and Proper were both massively gapping Zeta's division's DPS on damage early on in that fight. Zeta had double support ult before Chio had the orbital ray. Even though Fielder had died, it was only Chio healing, nobody there to leech the heals, and somehow Zeta, they were taking so much more damage. Falcons' DPS really putting the team on their back there with their damage in the neutral. Zeta never able to find their push turn. Alt exchange here though. Violet's popped the rally. Bob comes out from proper. Rally from Billy as well. Blizzard from Alfie. He looks all right. It hasn't frozen anyone though. It's been juked. I think it was stuck in the corner. No line of sight. And Falcons, they're just going to clean up the Bob from proper. It does so much damage and Zeta all boxed inside. They just don't close it. Now, already a checkpoint conceded. It looked like Zeta were going to take away that first fight, but now Falcons, they're the ones capping the checkpoint. Unbelievable stuff coming out from them. Cost them all the ultimates, but they'll, be, but they'll be happy with the result. Zeta Division, Bob and Annihilation coming back. Nearly up to that second orbital rate is Finn too. So they're going to try and push this one. But you can see Proper again so keen to play these flanks. They know they don't have any ults. Bob will come out onto Hambin. But Proper, he's all the way behind. Do they know? He will be looking for the assassination here. Can he find any of the kills? They see him now. Proper finds nothing. But the rest of Falcons, they disengage. And it's actually Proper does find the kill. They try and push away from him. But Proper, he's just behind. He's uncontested all. Orbital Ray Annihilation. Zeta Division, they're just ignoring the Ash. They're walking forward, but they need more kills. They've only found Fielder. Now they turn and deal with Proper. He is low. They'll finally take down Proper, but now the Orbital Ray from Chio. They're pushing back. It took Zeta Division too long, and Falcons, they're just playing them from both sides here. Annihilation still going from Hambin, trying to find his kills. No more Ice Block. Blizzard over the top as well from Stalker. It freezes oh. both of them. Easy kills now for Hanbin and Falcons. They remain on top here, and that Proper flag Blank. It bailed them out of that difficult ult situation, Falcons. Yeah, really. I mean, the testament to Falcons' DPS line, I can't stop glazing them now. Proper with that flank on the off angle, getting so much value. Credit to um, credit to Harmon as well. He did actually manage to land the snare on Flora that trapped him there in the open. But really, nice stuff from the Falcons' DPS line. Stalker with a wonderful blizzard to close out the fight. Here in this one, we've basically got a pure neutral at the start, but Field is close to that rally. And oh! <laughs> And Flora! Unbelievable! It doesn't even matter that Alfie's traded him out because I'm just going to keep doing tricks on it now. Proper is unstoppable here on Runasapi. Fielder pops the rally. Violet does too. Violet's not done. He's fed his fucking brains out like the fool that he is. And Harmon, he's happy to chase into the last vestiges of Alfie's Blizzard to take down the remainder of Zeta Division. The cart just keeps on rolling. Falcons, they look unstoppable here on Runasapi, Xavier. Look at Violet. He swapped over to Ilari. Oh, no. No. Seems to be a panic swap now. Just trying to make find something that can work for him. Trying to shut down Proper. Maybe just getting some more guns so they can shoot back. But now Violet has a gun. A chance to respond. But Proper, he has this bob. But Falcons, they know they have a massive lead. They've got the ults in the back pocket too. And they are just going to slow this down. They can manage the clock a little bit now. Here comes Proper on the flank again. Zeta Division, they need to have a response to this. The bob comes out. Just about misses Flora with the slow. The torpedoes, the orbital ray, it all connects. They do trade Proper out, but the damage is done. Alfie is stuck in here. He has the Annihilation if he needs it, but he doesn't because even from beyond the grave, Proper's Bob is doing it all for him. And Falcons oh, remain so on top good. here. 
He fills the kill feed even when he's dead. This guy's on another level tonight. Oh my god, forget about that whim that flimsy performance on Circuit Real proper is so fucking back. Mamba now he's feeling himself. He goes all the way and Flora just can't stop getting caught out. Again chased down. Annihilation still rolling behind him. Blizzard from Stalker catches Bernard, and there's no doubt he's gonna go down as well. And it's just a fucking wash. Zeta Division, they're about to get full capped. Six minutes to finish the map, and just in time because I'm out of snoozes and ad rolls in 12 seconds. <laughs> Unfucking believable though. Flora, time and time again, caught out. Ram slows, proper dinks, Juno Orbeez. It's all happening. Flora, the center of attention as Falcons just eye him off like the snack that he is and take him down so easily. Good grief. Dominant performance from Falcons. Smooth transition back to the slop too, right as the ad break starts. So uh, let's get back Beautiful. into that. See you later. All right, in a bit. What a, what a statement Runa Sapping that was. Absolutely blew him out of a water there, did proper. Looked like, looked like we were going to be for a slow competitive one. A war, a war of attrition. Both teams trading all these cooldowns after the first fight. It was back and forth. Slight advantage for Zeta, but they couldn't close it out. But then all of a sudden, after that first fight, after they got that one, proper just took over the nature of these matchups when there's no diva in play as much as the, the diva with the juno ring can shut down any sort of like aggressive angles that your hit scan or maybe your anna or something wants to take when you're on the ram version a lot of the time the ash can get more free can get in these aggressive positions you saw it when proper took that big flank behind who's responding to that zeta division they eventually choose to go forward but they choose too late and then they just find that nice timing snare from the front from ham been shot behind from proper and then proper he just keeps taking these angles uncontested and zeta division they need an answer to that they need an answer to those flanks because if not proper's gonna keep doing what he did on that runa sappy the break was longer than the map. 100% Evan. You're not wrong. <laughs> Just a little, a little morsel of Overwatch sandwiched between two breaks. But what a performance there! Don't think you can. Don't think you can have um, much recourse. I know people love to hate on proper right, proper hit scan, all of this, but. I mean, what a statement performance there. Flora didn't get a single bit of space. <laughs> no, no fish today, Leslie. No fish. Can't, can't catch a bite. Guess we're going to talk about more Steel Series come. I mean, this is actually, this is actually a huge win for the come heads. For the people who are hoping to see the come advert, this is a huge result here. They'll be quickly back into another ad break, another chance to see it. And there we go. And to be fair to Falcons as well, Proper was doing a lot. He was providing him the openings. But the old trades all went well. We suddenly saw Stalker's Blizzards with the ones nailing every time. Alpha Yin, this one, probably the big one that missed. He, he hit a freeze on the later one, and but they couldn't find the trades off it. But it was really just, it was all proper. Look at that. Oh, you can see Flora so desperate to get around the corner. Burner looking for the trades here, but then they turn back. They get in this Blizzard. And there we go. Oh, just out in the open. Finn, nice and easy. And then the double dink takes down Flora. And then there's the good wall from Stalker there. Splits off the rally trade. Makes Violet easy pickings for Fielder in the end. Then the Bob. Can we get a Bob POV from this last one? Because he does get traded. But there's Bob. There we go. Go on, Bob. Nicely done. Takes down the Ash. Takes down the Alari. Ash gets booped in here. <laughs> And here we go. Blizzard to finish it. Freezes up Burner one more time. And Falcons. When they win the maps, they win them with force, don't they? We'll get a look behind now, Zeta Division. Need a solution for these Ash Flanks. Obviously, they get to pick the map and the mode as well. So maybe they can pick one that is um, maybe a little bit less flank heavy. But honestly, even... even Runa Sappy, you know, there are chances for the Ash to take these angles and take these flanks, but proper just forcing it in a lot of situations and Zeta no response. So, well, they can maybe pick a map and that helps. Like a Flashpoint maybe a little. I mean, lots, Flashpoint has a lot of smaller points at least where the flanks are a little little bit more risky for proper. But you can still do it on Flashpoint here. So they need to, they need to come up with a play style solution. How are they going to deal with it? There's uh, a few things you can do. You can either have somebody mark it, right? Uh, I guess there's not really many great heroes here. 
A lot of what you can do if you're just getting flanked on. Does anyone remember when we used to watch the SSG scrims and the Ent scrims? And we had the we had the revelation that was just scare Sparker's flanks, you know? Just think about the flanks. Anticipate them. Be ready for them. Don't get caught napping. Shoot him back. If you shoot him back, you'll scare him away from the flank. So, it might be a care sparker flank situation here for Zeta Division. If someone could translate that into Korean, and they can care proper's flanks a little bit more. Because right now, Falcons, they found a play style that's working for them. And it's the onus really on Zeta Division to find a solution here. I think if I'm Falcons, I'm very happy with how that went. And I want to do more of the same. Because Zeta Division... They didn't just, they did just not have an answer. They weren't even close to an answer. They didn't even have concepts of an answer in terms of how to deal with proper flanks right there. But now they need to, they need something that solves it right here, right now. Because they find themselves a map down in the series. But it's best of, it's best of, uh, best of seven, remember. So you have to get to four to win it. But now with that one, Falcons now take the take the advantage in terms of map picks throughout the series. We'll see what they picked here too. Didn't actually get the come advert, did we? So come heads in shambles. Okay, so Flashpoint or Hybrid. I mean, you could always go Hybrid and take it into maybe a very different direction. Something like a Parisio could force. I don't know if there's a, there's some of these maps like the Dorados, the Parisios. Are they still Anna Brig maps despite, uh, despite the power of Juno? Picks, this is care proper flank. All right, someone get it over to Zeta Division right now. They need to care the flanks. Or proper will take them over. King's Row. Okay, so I have to presume this is just going to be more, more Juno. Potentially Anna. Last time we saw, I want to say, was it Falcons Crazy Raccoons played King's Row? And they actually played, I think, mostly Ram Anna. Am I remembering that right? I definitely remember them both playing Anna. I don't know if it was Ram or Diva, though. Can I do some form of... Can I do some form of science? Uh, there we go. Uh, 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 uh. By science, I mean... I'll read a spreadsheet. A, cl a classic, a classic sign, a piece of science here. Oh, so far now. Let's see. King's Row, King's Row. King's Row. Here it is, King's Row. Okay, so it was Anna Juno, but they did it mostly with Diva. So we'll see if we get some of the same here. It depends if they actually just do this. I think last time we saw, or at least from Falcons, we saw the Diva Mirror here. So I don't think we see Smurf. I don't think we see Heesung. I don't know if anyone saw any movement in terms of player changes. But I'd be surprised if we see any. Yeah, no changes on either side. So I think it will be potentially Anna Juno. Maybe potentially Diva as well, but I don't know if the, the way the mess has evolved, if it's just become it's just become a ram brig world in almost every situation. And the map just becomes irrelevant. Just different places to play ram. We'll get our answer soon enough. The Zeta Division need a solution for proper right now. To be fair, King's Row is one of the narrower maps. First point has a lot of high grounds to get use out of. And it will be Ash Brig coming out from Falcons here on the defense. Ramatra as well. So I wouldn't be surprised at division. I mean, Diva can be very strong on this first point because a lot of teams, they like to hold on the high ground. They like to try and preserve that position for their back line. So a Diva, a Diva ring swing. <laughs> Fun to say, Diva ring swing. Could be on the cards. You can see Falcons now, the outlines they are holding on the high ground. Alfie is going to go for this Widow shot out of spawn, but I think it's very unlikely that Fielder will be taking a peek at this one. And we'll wait and see what Zeta Division choose to respond with, but it might just be a Rambrig world everywhere here. 
Ram Brig World, you reckon? No Diva in play even on the high ground maps. Interesting to see that Zeta Division, you know, they roll out with the Diva on Circuit Royale, but here with high ground in play, they don't go for it at all. I don't know, man. Like, I, maybe they've just gone off the uh, gone off the Diva after winning a map playing it. I'm not, I'm not too sure. I guess Bernard did wind up playing playing Ram for a reasonable proportion of the map. Anyway, proper. Ah, uh, just holding that bottom right-hand corner. Flora goes for the dynamite there, but he actually just de-peaks immediately. A little bit too scared of getting his head ripped off. Oh, proper now, actually. Coach got up onto the high ground, went for a little bit of an aggressive peek through the window, but now he's back in main, swinging a miss with that dynamite. Getting some good shots off onto Alfie, though. Alfie has his block forced. Flora snaps back, though, takes down Proper's head. Proper again getting dinged by Flora. Now, this duel is so even. It appears that Flora was too locked into the duel, though, as Hanban has just materialized at his side and knocked his socks off. Been traded Field of its stalker cop Bernard as well. And that's really solid for Falcons. This hold will continue. No flora, no problem. All of the carries are still available to you. Or rather, no field and no problem. No, five themselves a little bit of time. And proper well, Violet just swings for corner. A little bit early on that one. Violet, mate. Gets his or oh, gets his body taken off, I guess, by Violet. <laughs> and now if they'll take another step forward, look for any more trade. Snare onto the ash, but Deep peak from Flora in time, and it will slow back down as we come to this ult trade. Orbital raise in play. Rally slow for both Briggs here. But Burner, he's getting annihilation gaps right now. Hamburg is so close to this ultimate. Violet is going to get walled and pro proper again. Hits for Dink. Hamburg is going to go down on the crossbow, but the orbital ray comes out. They're so low. Chio and Fielder, they'll finish off the kills. And I no Hamburg, no problem. Falcons, they don't need all five. But as long as they've got four, they seem to be good. They're in Finn did use the orbital ray in response, so it's an even ult trade on top of it for Falcons team. Proper and Stalker are both just beaming. I mean, we've been on Proper's POV, but some of these kills are being set up by Stalker's Dinks as well. Both of them have their ults before Zeta Division's counterparts have them. And now, I mean, look at this. Zeta, even though they have ults to play with, Falcons, I mean, they seem unbeatable right now. They're just doing so much in every neutral. Bob from Flora blocked out by the wall of Alfie. And then Proper answers back with his own Bob. Down goes Flora's Bob. Both Bobs actually traded out in the blink of an eye. So a little bit of a miss there for Proper's Bob, I'd have to say. But again, even ults for either side. Blizzard comes out for Alfie. Counter Blizzard from Stalker. And Hanbin, the only one to be frozen up. So, Stalker continuing that trend of lukewarm blizzards here on King's Row. Zeta Division, they've taken it away. That freeze on Hanbin, it was enough to break open the neutral. No ultimates left in the tank. And proper, finally, you know, you're not going to be able to 1v5 from that high ground, so you might as well die quick. Really good dodge by Violet on that one. Pushes with the rally, but saves for Bash. Manages to get out of the blizzard. Dodges the wall as well. Likewise, Burner able to get himself to a safer position. And they win that trade ultimately. Now, Annihilations will be in hand for both Ramatras. Juno's coming up close to these orbital rays as well. So expect another big trade. Alfie just with this early angle. Trying to hit an early dink. Find something. Flora on the main angle. Nothing doing yet, though. And eyes on proper on this one. We saw him play a very flank heavy style on Runa Sapi to great success. But now Burner is in this mega. He has the Annihilation, gets a shield, just wants to try and poke out Hambin here, but not too much pressure on him. They should be able to get that form out. There we go, form advantage now for Burner. A chance to keep pushing if they want. They're going to go for another wall timing maybe now. They want to force this Annihilation out. Proper is on the high ground with his Brigitte, but just get forced back. Orbital Raid dropped into this one. Burner still has the Annihilation. They're just trying to burn through Hambin right now. Proper's coming back to main with a bob. He will be dropping that one in soon. Orbital Raid has been used by Chio and Hambin. He burns through him. Burner, he had for much later Annihilation, but it got nothing done. Hambin's just kept going. But Bob over the top, but Ray over the top. And Zeta Division, they win that, win that fight. They stabilize. Yeah, I mean, look, it all came down to Hanman swinging the corner, getting that slow on Flora yet again. Flora's been caught out by the Ramatra one too many times here. If he's not getting caught out in melee range, he's getting caught by these snares. And Flora having a real rough one. Even though, you know, they might be close to another Bob, you can't help but feel as if they're getting a little bit gapped. Now Proper with a oh, massive flank. Dynamite in the back line gets Flora so low. Un-fucking-believable. Perfect play from Falcons. They recognize that they have a deficit of ultimates and they make a play they win the neutral fight before there's even a chance for the alt exchange to matter and now bernard being staggered out he popped the form the wall comes up this is unreal from falcons they're so dialed in right now their fundamentals are perfect
Timing really nice and proper. Once again, repeating what we saw on Runa Sappy, getting these flank kills in and swinging these fights. And when you talk about these types of comps and bear, we talk about the ult layering and how important these things are. The fact that proper can win you in these fights, saving you ultimates or even win you fights where you don't have any ultimates. It's such a huge swing in terms of how the map can go. And now Flora trying his hand at it, but a bit more of a conservative flank here. Doesn't find the kill, drops the bob onto Hanbin though. Blizzard will come out from Stalker, but is anyone getting frozen from this? No, I think everyone's safe. Meanwhile, well, Alfie, he has caught Hanbin. Rally to try and save him from Fielder. But Violet, big bash with that second rally. Will run over Fielder in that one. Now they've got Ramacha trapped behind. They'll turn and they'll deal with that. And when they aren't getting their heads blown off by proper on the flank, Zeta Division fairly even in some of these alt trades. They win that one. But they're running low on time. They need to win this next fight. Annihilation and Rain. This is probably their best chance. I mean, look, Alfie, I mean, he's definitely making a case for best main career right now. Constantly getting the better of Stalker with these ultimates, if not with the neutral damage. Perfect second ult. Stalker's Blizzard, Blizzard finds nothing. Alfie's Blizzard, a crucial tank pick. So now it's just going to be a question of, can proper blow someone's head off yet again? Coming up on the Bob, the orbital rays are going to be mirrored here. Same for the tank ult. So the only difference is going to be proper's ultimate. Way ahead on that one. Orbital rays traded. War comes out, though, and Maybe, just maybe, Zeta Division are going to want to slow down here. Nope, just kidding. Apparently, they're going to push right oh. into it. And Proper is once again going to take off somebody's head. Bin goes down, and the cart will stop right here and now. This is a final fight. Wait, Stalker has another Blizzard? What the fuck? Jesus. Yeah, I mean, Al Alfie does seem to be getting, getting the better of the Blizzard trades, but Stalker's just hitting everything right now. So maybe if you just have more Blizzards, it doesn't matter if they're not all quite as good. Works out for Falcons here, and that's actually an incredible hold, really, on King's Row. Not a lot of time to work with for Zeta at all here. They need a good hold, and really, they just need to stop having these flanks from... They need to look at the flank, care the flank, be, be wary. Can you see the Ash? If not, he might be doing exactly this to your backline. It's finding so much success for Falcons right now, and Zeta Division doesn't feel like they have a consistent answer to it at all. Oh, jeez. I mean, like, proper. Just just playing in absolute peak form here on the Ash, you know? There were some question marks around this happy pickup, thinking, oh, do we need a main DPS player so that, <laughs> so that proper can play both roles? But I don't think it was ever in question that proper had an elite hit scan under his belt, and now he's proving it. Just hard-gapping Flora, who has somehow floated to the top of the hit scan scene of Korea, despite not really being considered one of the elite previously. And now, I mean, look at this. Falcons here on the offense, they have all the tools. They can do whatever they want. They don't have to push the card very far at all to close out this map. Zeta Division, they're going to defend on the same comp. And I mean, look at this. Falcons on the offense, I see a completely different comp here. But I, I want to believe that this is some cheesy stuff, you know? This is just a little bit of fucking around in spawn. And then they're going to go back and play that same old neutral that they've been dominating in so hard with the mirror. Yep, there it is. Harmon makes the cowardly swap. And Fielder will soon be to follow both both Falcons DPS on Snipe is just going for a little magic pick but here we go everyone gets back to spawn Field is actually going to make Anna? a change Field is going to come out on the Ana on the attack this makes sense you can play range you can play far away and Ana she has better ult turns than Brig really nice neutral too where if you can play safe and throw out those nades you can get huge value nade comes out early catches Violet and look at this Falcons they're already pushing really deep look at where we are pushing through the hotel but it looks like that first turn it will be sustained by Zeta Division. Falcons, they're doing okay. Feel the cups of dink, and he needs to play really safe now. But look at that. Bird oh, goes down to the front. Was that another nade from Fielder? It was unbelievable. Look at this now. Zeta Division, they're not just on the back foot. They're fighting for dear life. Finn gets the trade on proper, but I mean, a trade with no tank. Look at this. Falcons, they're all over them. They're pushing all the way through the choke. They're going for gold. They're going for all of the finish kills. And look at this now. Half of Zeta Division is getting backspawned. They're not even going to be able to hold the close choke anymore. A disaster for him, really. And you see the power of Anna. This is this is a reason if you see Anna, normally teams will swap to the Diva. Just to take this Anna out of the equation, because the nades onto Ramacha, the sleeps onto Ramacha. They're just free all the time, and it helps you win that frontline trade. And you can see they're happy to be aggressive here, Falcons. They want to get more. And Hamben, he's on the hunt here. Flora is low, but does manage to get away from that one. They've just about stabilized. But Hamben now on the high ground has this annihilation. We'll just stay here poking and making Zay Division's life absolute hell. And Propers, he's actually got onto the Widow right now, but 
Violet's, Violet's on top of him. Is this a step too far for proper? This is a step too far for proper. He will get taken down and suddenly this early position for Falcons. They're actually going to commit Blizzard and Annihilation. They still want to win. They've got Burner in the corner, but he's just blocking. He's fine. Annihilation will be weighted out and Hambin will be repelled. And Zeta Division, they found the stabilization. Proper is back on Ash. Maybe a bit carried away with himself here because Zeta Division, they now have all the ultimates. Falcons use both. Three, two ultimates in that last fight. But, oh, Proper. Field is on the flank this time. Flora just sleeping out the wheel. Anna walks up and deals with him. Blizzard comes out. Orbital Ray comes out. The ults will save it for Zeta Division here. But just chaos on the flanks from Falcons finding value again. Falcon so active on the map, they will not give you a second to breathe. Feel that he finds that timing to stop healing in main and just run up on the flank, take down Flora. And then again, of course, we've got Stalker with the, the most convincing of Stalker blizzards, catching zero players for the millionth time. Then Alpha Yi comes back in and turns the fight around with a really high quality blizzard. Proper back on the ash, only 50% to the Bob right now, but feel that he's had this nano boost for a while. I think it's time. Na oh, another anti on to burn our sleep. To counter the block, oh, and that's just going to be another neutral fight win for Falcons. No ultimates even needing to be invested. Flora going for his own. I'm going to be active on the map, and it's actually going to pay huge dividends here. Takes down both supports with the combination of the Bob and the Dynamite. I've been getting so many trades though. That is going to make Zeta Division's defense a little bit dicey. Nice picks from Flora, but just oh. not quite enough. Proper has one health around this corner. Uh, they try and make it work, and to be fair, they get the trades. They give themselves another chance in this fight but they didn't get a car very far on their attacks a division so this is now potentially the final fight for them they have to make their stand here zeta division and they have the annihilation but look at the bank on falcons they have the nano they have the annihilation they have a blizzard they have a bot they have all the tools they need they're all just stacked on main they're ready for this one Oh, Hanman, it looks like he wants to go deep here. Fielder still has the nano boost, but it looks like they're actually just going to back up a little bit. Here comes the re-engage, so you can see Fielder's oh, getting ready for it. He's invested <gasps> the nano, but it's 5v3. Bernard and Alfie finding the value. Look at this, so Hanman with the nano boost and the annihilation. He's gone so deep. He's looking for more, but I mean, the Fielder trades out onto Violet. It's a 3 vs 3. It's actually Wait. winnable. In fact, it's more than just winnable. Falcons, they have a Blizzard. Oh, is Stalker one of the dead players? Yeah. Stalker might be one of the dead players. Blizzard comes out to Alfie once again. He's actually not going to catch Harmon this time around. Harmon sneaks around the corner, line of sights the blizzard. Feel the cops another nade, and that takes down Alfie. Falcons, they're on another level tonight, Xavier. Unbelievable stuff from Fielder. Every nade landing. Insane sustain, turning the five versus three with the respawn disadvantage to clean up this map and lead the series three to one. I thought that was the moment when they invest in that nano into that fight. I think, oh, Falcon's going to lose this fight and they're going to fuck their economy at the same time. But they make it work. The nano remarks of the annihilation, so hard to deal with, of course. So expect Hambin to find kills with that. But then the Blizzard, Alfie, he has the chance to seal it, but Hambin gets just around the corner and that backline is coming once again. And you see the power of the Ana. If you can keep the Ana alive, this is why people normally swap Diva, but because if, if you keep the Ana alive, every nade, every sleep, it hits and it just makes Burner's life miserable miserable and you see how much value fielder got there you see the power of Vienna in the remarks mirror and falcons free one up and they're only they've, they've not won it yet but it feels like it is one way traffic now the momentum in this series has swung heavily in their favor I think Bernard needs to unlock the Diva Hero anytime he sees Fielder on that Ana, especially knowing that he has the Nano Boost. You need to get on top of Fielder because these nades, they're so deadly. And then with all the proper is doing on the map as well, these big wide flanks on high grounds, maybe picking the Diva could be the play. I think for the Mirror, when they're on the Brig matchup, it makes total sense to be on Ram. But when Fielder goes Ana, you need to play a little bit of the swap game. You need to shut down Fielder's value. So I'd really like to see Bernard come out on the diva if he sees any more Ana coming out from fielder and i mean now they're in a position where they can just pick a ground matchup they can go somewhere where Ana isn't good short range maps i think flashpoint is still available so they'll probably take yeah. it to a flashpoint where Ana will be rather difficult for fielder but again this is just an insane performance coming out from the side of falcons it feels like a real a real hit scan gap coming out from mm. proper and fielder is just in a league of his own with these Ana swaps solo carrying fight after fight. Enough of that though, slop.
Ansel's right. I think I think the Anna's the Anna's a real problem for him. It should be harder on the flashpoint. I'd probably expect a new junk city to be the pick here out of Zeta Division. But both pretty similar. You can flank on the Ash, but you're a little bit more committed to him than you are on, say, Runa Sapi. Runa Sapi is quite a nice map in terms of you can flank and get back to your team half the time. On some of these flashpoint points, you have to actually really commit to the flank to go through. A little bit harder to take these sort of like softer power positions. But to be fair, Prop has also been hard flanking, so I wouldn't be surprised if we see more of the same. But as much as the Ana was a huge problem for him here as well, and I think it definitely was one that Zeta weren't able to solve in the moment, as I think it's the whole matchup as well, you know? They're just clutching, and you saw that final fight for 3v5. That wasn't necessarily like a macro difference. It was just, or even, even necessarily a comp difference, really. That was just a, everything's working for us. We're feeling it. We're playing well. We're playing confident. We're going to go for this play. Trust for call, just make it work. They make it work, and they are making the gap between themselves and Zeta look significant. And right now, Falcons on the verge of winning OWCS Korea for the second time. It doesn't feel like Falcons have had all that much success this year, but this will be literally 100% of the OWCS Koreas they will have won. Won the one earlier in the year, on the verge of winning this one, and they're looking strong and dominant in this meta. Really strong look for Falcons. Really strong look. You can see Flora leaning into it as well. You saw him go for some of his own flanks. But to be fair, he did find value. The nature of no Diva, no Tracer, no none of these none of these heroes that are really as good at controlling the flanks. So when you get when you get the comps sort of it's like an arms race in the comps, right? To be good at the brawl. And that's why we see so much RAM. We see the May. We see the Brig. Everything focused on winning this frontline brawl. So all of a sudden that creates, creates space on the side and proper as filled in that vacuum. Use it to his use it to his advantage. And here we go. It looks like this was the fight win, right? But Hanbin, he finds one. Gets the trade. Can't quite finish Finn. Now he comes back. You see Cheer on the high ground. Awfully low. And then, yeah. Blizzard over top, 2 minutes, 10 seconds to spare. And Zaya Division. They need an answer, they need a solution. They need a way to get back into this mirror. And that's the problem. That's uh, if, if you're a team and you're in you're playing in a meta where it is basically one comp is kind of exclusively played on 90%, if not all maps. If you start losing is really hard to reverse momentum the series because you have to you have to try and fix the mirror problem which is obviously uh, which is normally a bit more complicated and say uh, say what we sometimes see or maybe we've seen more recently like esports world cup and stuff where it's just like hey we're losing the fucking dive mirror guys this is a problem what if we just take it to a circuit royale so they can't play dive anymore or something you have a lot more ability when the meta's more open to shift it into your favor or try different matchup provide different questions for the team to answer but say division they don't really have that option here i imagine everything they've scrimmed this week it's all been ram it's diva brig juno it's all been the same so they need to figure out what they want to play here Looks like no changes on the side of Falcons. Falcons also out of a dugout earlier as well. Zay Division need more time. Need to find a solution here. Falcons though already out, ready to go. Here comes Zay Division now. They need an answer to proper. They need an answer in the neutral. Need so many answers in reality. A <laughs> significant amount of answers required here from Zeta Division as they find themselves 3-1 down in this grand finals. We saw Flora trying to take more of a flank towards the end. Did find value on one occasion. But they need more. Need more. It's tricky on this flashpoint as well. And yeah, New Junk City or Suravasa for choices. Would expect it to be New Junk City. I think it's just slightly better for the RAM version anyway. A bit harder to play Ana on this one as well. You think of all the Ana problems they ran into on King's Row. If you can just play a map where Ana maybe isn't an option, you probably feel pretty good about that one, actually. 
So expect this to be New Junk City, and I expect it still to be a rollout on Ram, and they say will just take the Gambit, and they wouldn't risk the Ana on this one. And we'll just get more of a Brig Mirror. That would be my expectation. Falcons, on the other hand, though, playing with confidence. They're feeling it. Remember, they're 3-1 up now, so if Zeta Division want to turn this one, they have to win three maps in a row. So it needs to be a colossal momentum swing, and uh, it's really difficult to see where that comes from from Zeta Division right now. Will be New Junk City. So, should be hard for Viana here. I'd be surprised if Fielder rolls out Anna here. I feel like as a, even even if they don't run the Diva variant, Zeta Division, I think Viana should be very reachable in all of these situations. Proper Mike Venture. Yeah, good shout, Pro Tour. Uh, real chance we see. We saw it a lot last week. We've not really seen it much this week. Um, just in terms of the May Venture being played quite a lot when it was some of these smaller, more contained maps. We saw it, say, on, like, um, on Circuit Royale, for example. So it might be another option. To be fair, when we saw them playing that May Venture variant Falcons, it did feel like Hisang was actually getting the better of proper a lot of the time, even if they ultimately didn't win that series, Crazy Raccoon. So I <laughs> Jump scare on this poor, this poor woman in the audience. <laughs> she was not expecting to be on camera. But yeah, it didn't feel like the strongest for proper. And right now, the Ashes go. The Ashes is doing wonders for him. So we'll see what they roll out. But I wouldn't be surprised if they just stick the Ash here with how much success they've had. What's the poll saying? The poll is saying 76% for Falcons. People believe in the momentum. They're playing confident. Hard to bet against them right now. OWCS Korea Champions, correct. Proper just killing the entire Zayn Division team. He's killed him so many times. This was a premonition. This happened. This happened today. It wasn't on Echo, but it happened today. Proper killing all of them. I'm not sure we'll see Malga. We saw we've seen Ents experimenting with the Malga in this Juno Brig mirror. And I think it's probably got it's got some legs, I think. But I don't know if we'll see it from either of these teams here. We've not seen any of the Korean teams drop a Malga yet in this type of mirror from memory. So, all right. Zayce Division, they need a solution. They need it now. And the nature of this meta, it kind of is just a, a, a pretty much a one comp meta. So Zayce Division, they're on the Ram, they're on the Juno, they're on the Brig. Flora, will he go back to the Sombra? Will he stick the Ash? He's going back to the Ash, and it will be a full mirror from both teams. Data Division, they're not changing the comp, but they need to change something because they are on the ropes in this series. Hello. Hey, yeah. How are we doing? Yeah, good. I'm, I'm, you know, at the start of the day, you told me to manifest feeling funky fresh, and I'm, I'm starting to feel it. Proper here. That's nice. That's nice. Probably going to be shooed away from the flank. So Flora actually has more of an angle right now. Getting wide, getting some spam onto Hanbin. Can go deeper and look at the backline if he wants. But he's really just interested in Hanbin because Hanbin's just a little bit hamstrung all the way out at the front here. And they'll get that first one for free in Zayn Division. First fight, nice, easy one. Not quite sure what happened to Hanbin there. Classic hamstrung Hanbin there, going down early in the neutral. Proper unable to find a wide flank. Oh, nice! Dink from Flora and Alpha Yi simultaneously to take down Stalker, and that's really going to hamper Falcons' chances here, slowing down their push immensely. We see just big poke happening outside Zeta Division. They're not going to give this one up for free. They want all the old charge they can get when this cross happens out in the open. Flora deep peeks after copping a dink, so he's ready to go. Proper headshot by Alpha Yi as well. Look how close Alpha Yi is to that Blizzard now. 80% already. Falcons, they're rotating around the side, but if they're not careful, they're 
going to be walking straight into the arms of a blizzard. You can see Finn, he has the orbital ray much faster, so it's actually really important that Alpha Yi builds this up. Otherwise, they are just going to get rolled over by the ultimate. Finn has the ulti now, but so does Alpha Yi. So careful of an aggressive push here. Falcons are completely here. Yeah, they, they haven't done any ulti whatsoever. Nice wall onto Hamden, but I mean, he's so far away. Oh, he's fluffed his blizzard. He's completely fluffed his blizzard. Throws it into the wall or something, and Bernard, completely off screen, has gone down to proper. Uh, it started so good for him. They started with confidence, but now all of a sudden, a mistake, a failed blizzard, and Zayn Division, they're investing ult silver. Bob has come out, but Falcons, they're just going to rally, move towards point here. Need to deal with some of these angles. They've just sort of run into point, though, so Flora's just going to kill him. It's chaos here on this first point, but Proper with a peek. He finds one. He's looking for more orbital right out from Fim. Chio's also using it, but Proper, he's not missing right now, but Alpha Yi, good for the dink. Blizzard on top of him. Alpha Yi has no escape. Surely he's frozen. He's on the high ground, but it's not enough an escape and falcons they cap the point part way through when they rallied here so they will get that one and field is actually coming back on kiri as well now Fielder on the Kiri. One too many deaths on the Brigand. He thinks, you know what? It's not worth it. I'm going to switch things up. Again, I don't really know the rationale for the Kiri pick over the Brigitte, but let's let's see if he can make something work with it. He's in control. Maybe he just needs to get back to the fight fast. Maybe he just wanted to come back for the scrappy one. I'm not not too sure. But here we are now. Proper has the Bob. Flora does not. So this is a good looking fight here for Falcons. Big engagement coming out from Zedido. They're rushing right in with the rally. Flora taken out, but Chio goes down. Not a terrible trade. Losing your second DPS, so that's not ideal. Annihilation now comes out from Bernard, the second Annihilation, and Harnbin, it's up to Fielder to pocket him through all of this, but with Finn still alive, I'm not sure that it's going to be possible. Bernard pushing, not able to close out the kill. Stalker pops the ice block, so, so low. Harnbin just a sliver of HP. Fielder stuck underneath. Slow comes out, but there's no kill conversion. Look at Harnbin's health bar right now. Look at Fielder. They're both escaping on such low health. Fielder has the balls to come in and contest on that amount of health, and now it's looking like Falcons are actually going to be the ones turning this. Violet gets picked. Stalker takes down Bernard and the inability to close. It's a disaster for Zeta. They were so, so close, but they can't quite get it done. It was there for him, but they were so low. But Falcons, when things are going your way, things are going your way. They all manage to survive. They tiptoe out. They even don't give the flip during all of it as well. So they convert the first point and it started so well for Zeta Division. But as soon as there was an at mistake with the Blizzard from Alpha Yi, everything just started to fall apart. It descended into chaos and Falcons winning the clutch. Now Stalker with another Blizzard ready to go, as does Alpha Yi. Orbital race slightly quicker for Finn here, so can lay in that one in on the top as well. But all about these Blizzards and how well they can next for now though it's just a slow pokey fight outside for point fielder will be able to tp back the suzu will help a lot with these blizzard exchanges actually so stalker looking for his one here kitsune rush is going to be used first a division just going to take a step back from that one disengage looks good here so no value from the kitsune rush but still has that suzu for this blizzard timing here flora's going to regroup with his team come through the choke and they want to swing out to this wider area now a fight for point falcon said cap it during all of this as the raids come in oh my blizzards God, will be used by both it's massive from stalker actually every single person in that and that's going to be a huge fight win it's the stalker redemption arc you know so many misses on that ultimate throughout the course of tonight even though falcons have been winning the majority of the maps but finally stalker comes in clutch shuts down finn's orbital ray with the blizzard catches so many members of zeta with their pants down and then their pants frozen in space and time and now i mean look proper he swapped over to the sojourn for the final fight at the first point and he's already got that overclock that's the only ultimate they have in the pocket though so this is going to be a rough one for falcons they're going to need some miracles they're going to need some headshot magic coming out from proper violet actually back is in extremely deep, but proper forced backwards still, whiffs the rail on Finn, and Violet, I mean, he's used the rally, but he's the only one who looks like he's under a lot of pressure. Bernard throws in the Annihilation, though, and that is going to clean up the fight. Two ultimates invested, four Zeta Division, none for Falcons. They were actually happy to just let that one go through to the Keeper, and now they're building up their ult bank yet again. Good looks for both teams, only the Bob online for Flora right now, but the Kiriko ult charges, I mean, the um, support ult charges for Finn and Chiro, they're both rather even. Feel the ahead on the Kitsune Rush though, so this could be a scary one for Zeta if Flora can't land a nice Bob, get a good uppercut or something to that effect. Wall comes out in main and it looks like Zeta are actually just going to match this rotation. No problems at all there. Flora now actually has to throw in the Bob in a state of panic and look at Bernard. He's running in on the side angle. The wall. Oh my god, Falcons are flipping over to the point now. One for one trades. Cheer goes down. Flora goes down and I think Cheer getting traded. That's really important because of the old situation. Oh, oh. takes down Bernard. This overclock is 
enormous! And Falcons, they take it away again. Insane flip into an insane kill. And look at that. Down goes Finn, getting staggered out by Falcons. And look, this is championship point already, Xavier. Absolutely dominant. Again, every time Zeta Division, it feels like they get their, themselves back into the game. They get themselves a good hold there. They wanted to go aggressive with that Bob, but Falcons, they just drop a shoulder, give them a flip, take the point away from them, proper lands the overclock. Orbital Rate is now in play for Finn, but Falcons, they have both support ops, and Burner has gone Diva. I don't know about this one now. Into the Sojourn, into the Kiriko. Can they find the value? He's going to go through. Pocket comes through, and now the Ray and Kitsune rush it. They'll both be dropped here. They demolish Violet. They're going to demolish Alpha Yee. They've used, they've actually used a hell of a lot of stuff there in response to just the orbital ray from Finn. So Falcons, they will win this first fight by a large margin, but we'll see if that comes back to bite them now as big, big investment. Yeah, I mean, I like the Diva swap from Bernard, but I'd imagine Fields is going to make the swap back over to Brig. Bernard needs yep. to keep an eye on that. Get back on the ram now. As soon as Fields is off that squishy here. Oh, no. Bernard's sticking the Diva as well. So this is really dicey now for Zeta Division. Their backs are to the wall. They're down 0 2 on Flashpoint. This is Championship Point right here and now, only on map 5. And Zeta, I mean, they're relying on yet another incredible Blizzard from Alfie, but Stalker has one to match. If Stalker just takes it slow, tries to play second, he will have a chance to just shut this out completely. Fielder taking some poke from Flora, but it's nothing to be too worried about. Flora again gets a good angle, but Chia drops straight down to the ground. A rail from Proper, followed up by the torpedoes from Chia, and down goes Flora. First picked Blizzard from... What is that Blizzard from Alpha Yi? And oh my god, it's uh, the series. Oh, it's ending right it's here over. now, Xavier. Stalker still has the Blizzard, doesn't even need it. There was maybe a bit of clutch potential for Burner to eat that one, but they're going to stagger out the Baby Diva now. Flora has gone Sombra, goes for the remake, doesn't get it. Flora's going to go Sombra, Alfie's going to go Tracer. So the touch might be possible, but their comp's going to be a bit rubbish if they can get back here. They need all sorts of miracles out of Division. Flora will get the first touch. Alfie's coming for the next one. He's going to have to commit a couple of blinks. He's walled, does still get it. Alfie dies for it now, though, so they need one more touch. Violet will get that one. He has the rally. He's going to pop it. He's going Gonna get blizzarded though. Body block as well to ensure he freezes. And Falcons, a dominant finals and back to back career championships for him. Jeez, quick game's a good game, as they say, Xavier. And good grief, Falcons came out to play today. Oh, that, that circuit real, it was just a blip because every other map was bordering on pure domination for them. Proper high diffing flora throughout the series. I mean, look, Stalker, his blizzards may have left some to be desired, but his damage in the neutral was unmatched. Absolutely unreal performance from the side of Falcons here tonight. They throw on the masks, they get their handshakes done. Oh, Finn and Proper, you know, they're having a little bit more. They're having a bit of a punch on here. And, and that'll do it. That's that's the end of OWCS Korea, with Falcons once again crowned the champions. Let's see if they can replicate that at the Asia land. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, they made they made the same start. Stream is going to be popped as well. Nice. And yeah, back to back championships. Can't have any complaints about that. But the real test. Uh, you, you don't get the tier one until the Asia LAN. It's safe for the Asia LAN. Also, only Asia LAN. This is the oh, wait, tier two font now on the screen. No, the the highest tier font has little stars, stars inside it. That's yeah. definitely the tier two font. That's, that's we're halfway there. We're halfway we're, there. <laughs> we'll get to it. It's the Asia land. That's when the big guns, the big fonts come out. Player of the match yeah. has to be proper, right? Yeah, no, no doubt whatsoever. I mean, look at this. He was just dominating time and time again. When they were down on ults, he was there on the flank, breaking open neutral fights before the ult exchange could even occur, constantly getting value every second of every round. Just an insane performance from Proper there. I mean, there, there have been some Proper doubters here and there. I'm one to throw a little bit of shade at Proper from time to time, mostly for the allegations of his mentality, more so than the quality of his play. But here, I mean, he's really come out with a fucking stellar performance to win Korea. Yeah, it's absolutely, absolutely mega. Can't be understated. And I think as well, Zeta Division, every time it looked like they were getting back into it, I think you could just see that gap in confidence there on the New Junk City, especially. Zeta Division, they tried to start, they tried to start strong. They puffed their chests out. They were swinging early. They were taking the flanks. But as soon as one thing started to go wrong, all that confidence fell away. And then it was just all Falcons all the way. Proper again, that big overclock into the flip on point E. And it was just, it was just never turning proper back on top. Yeah, no, proper is on top, you know, shades of top dragon in the way that he is on top. 
But look, I mean, I, I might actually head off quite yep. rapidly here, Zay, because You've I got... need to get a little bit of shut eye before we start <laughs> before we start the uh, the slog of facer coverage for the final day. Yeah, I don't know what to do now because I, I didn't get a lot of sleep, as you can imagine, from this one. But now I've got six hours to fill. <laughs> before, I mean, you, could have before... a, you could have a cheeky goon session, you know. You, you oh, can fill what? six hours in no time at all. <laughs> I might opt for washing. I might do some laundry. Washing. Okay, that seems a little bit more adult than a cheeky goon <laughs> session, but you know, to each their own, mate. You, you do you and I'll do me. I know, I know where I'll we be live... for the next six hours. That's all I'm going to say. We live different lives. We live different lives. It's true. All right, Xavier. Well, thank you very much. I'll see you in six. In a bit. Sleep well. Hope you dream yeah. of me as well. <laughs> all right. What a quick final in the end. Fuck. Can I leave the stream running? I don't know. I don't want to leave it running. A washing stream? No. I'm going to leave it running for six hours. Um, celebratory marbles? I don't know. We're over so quickly, are we not? I guess we should wait. Should we wait for a player interview? <laughs> Wherever, guys. He said proper was washed up. I mean, fuck. You know who should feel vindicated out of this, actually? Me. Do you remember when we were doing those player power rankings? We were doing those player power rankings and people were telling me not a, not a top tier hit scan, not an elite tier hit scan. Grow up. There might be issues with him. There might be issues with um, how he fits into the team or how he works with his players or like his teammates, but he's just fucking good, no? Always been good. Never wasn't. Never wasn't. <laughs> And that means they'll secure the top seed for the Asia land as well. Will the announcement confirmed Asia bracket? Is it right on Liquipedia? Where are we going? Asia, here we go. Is this it? Yeah, exactly, user. Exactly. He's he's <laughs> the ball knowers always appreciated proper, but now <laughs> now the masses they'll swing from they'll swing back to proper's the goat. What you'll probably get is some false narrative now, like how proper improved his fucking form or something, you know. When in reality he's been playing fine the whole time in terms of he's just had a very a very good final. See the stream. Oh yeah, so we got the we got the clinch teams. Have I put the bracket? Did I miss it? Oh, just oh, it's not come up yet. Oh, okay. I mean, I'm pretty sure it will be this one that we see here. I trust it. I trust Liquipedia on this one. They're not always right, but on this one. I trust them. I trust them to get it right. So what is being played on Friday? What do you mean, sorry? Oh, here we go. There we go. It'll be the Asia Land. Asia Land next week. Is that what... It says 27th. Okay, yeah, 27th. Okay. Liquipedia's wrong? Yeah, it's actually very different, isn't it? <laughs> it's very different. All right, so Crazy Raccoon against Bleed. Good luck in that one, Zis. Lazuli versus Pokerface. I mean, I guess this first round is all just Korean versus non-Korean, right? So maybe the more important thing to look at is Falcons and Pokerface on the same side of a bracket. Falcons probably buzzing about that, quite happy with that one. Crazy Raccoon and Zeta Division find themselves on the same side as well. Mm, okay. It's normally one. It is one and four because this is Poker Face for Wild Card. Nah, no way. Oh, you mean against Lazuli? Oh, yeah. They'll definitely, they'll definitely beat Lazuli. I think all of these, all of these first games are going to be 3-0s, Honestly, I don't think, I don't think anyone's taken a map. 
Oh, okay, I'm with you. Oh, okay. Wait, is that what Liquid Pig presumed? 1v3? Yeah, I don't know why they would presume it would be like this, because this is what? This is like, yeah, first versus third. I don't know. Uh, 4 1 in the end, Coleman. 4 1 to Falcons. Which means. What did he say? You make 16 quid? 16 quid? 16 pound? 9 pence. Drinks on Coleman. Oh, wait, we should swap over for the um, for interview. I don't know if we're going to get anything too insightful. We can listen. Easy lunch. These two champions, Team Falcons, let's go! You lost $11 on the UFC main event? Fuck. players are now making their way onto the stage. They made their way all the way here, beating Crazy Raccoon. So they, from stage one to stage two, both stages, they are champions. True. A lot of members on stage. Plus the coaching staff as well. Oh, can we have um, Krusty and Junkbuck. So we have flowers and, of course, the uh, prize Yeah, they get flowers, don't they? Never get flowers in the EMEA. Yes. Unbin taking the uh, Who gets the flowers? The card. Majid? Well, Congratulations, Majid. The station. The big. Yeah, it's the stage two champions. For Sir Majed holding the flowers, please give a round of applause for your OWC's Korea Stage 2 champions. You made six days trim bucks today? Alright. How much dough do they get? Is it like 3k? I don't know, it's way more actually. Oh, wait, this is the Asia one, sorry. Korea. Okay, no, it's still way more. 15k. 15k. So, can you tell us how you feel about the victory? <laughs> the Marine saying, give, give the mic to me. I'll do, I'll do it myself. Yeah. First, happy. So of course, he can are we going to do? Are we going to interview well? everyone? So we might actually be here for ages. Absolutely ages. So we're safe at the interview. Morning, my pinlay. We're safe at the interview, and then I think I'll shoot off. I'll get some stuff done. Since I've actually got a decent chunk, decent chunk of the um. What was the play afternoon uh, made your team shine over the uh, What am I going to do with all this time? Hit scan diff. Uh, proper was the most sick, but proper, um, of course, getting the POTM, and he played phenomenally. Says happy. Uh, no one gone. That was it. Just a one and done. One and done for Korea. Uh, it's uh, exclamation mark replays PX. Solidified themselves as the Korean champions. Beating Zara Division and Crazy Raccoon, so please say a few words to the fans. Yeah, you missed the entire finals gala. It was actually a pretty one sided affair. Um, we'll make sure to stay champions. Falcons kind of just. There was a circuit royale, obviously. I'd say it looked good on that map, playing a, a sombra version of the comp. Um, so, how do you feel about the victory? But. But everything else was uh, just one-way traffic. Yeah, Falcons kind of because, um, blitzed them, honestly. Of, uh, really bad fever, but... I, I feel that we yeah, first Falcons win since actually the first OWCS career. His ash was phenomenal uh, with one of the Korean casters um, saying that, okay, well... We do marbles, yeah. I guess we'll, we'll listen to the interview, and then we can do one. So he says... Um, uh, 4 1 of the end, my pain line. You see the flat card. And of course, the, uh, because of the scrim results, I had a good feeling about today. Ooh, dominant on scrims, conflict going in. 
about the uh, the placards. And he says he doesn't have anything to say about the placards, but a word to his fans. Uh, I would like to thank all the fans. Of course, we fell we fell we fell short a couple times, but thank you for continuing to stalk, uh, continuing to support us. Is Asia next week? Yeah, next week. Next week. Next week. Next Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I think it's all free at least, I presume so. So straight into it. There will be one more patch, right? There's a patch on Tuesday, which will be an absolute pain for these teams because it's literally the biggest tournament of the year. Well, I guess Esports World Cup, but one of their biggest qualification tournaments of the year to get to the end of season playoffs, and we're going to get a patch on Tuesday. Fuck. Fuck. No, uh, it as in 27th of the month, not in 27 weeks. As for the resolution for OWCS Asia, we'll write the momentum into winning OWCS Asia as well. All right, nice and easy. I've not really listened to any of this interview. Has anyone said anything interesting? How do you feel about the victory? Of course, I didn't play today, but as part of the team, I think that we all contributed to today's win, so I'm really happy. No, I don't think so, Zis. I don't think so. Happy pick proper as uh, POTM for today, so... What's your pick? <laughs> Zeta, if they play bleed, so as, as <laughs> history will repeat player, itself. The DPS player, I will say, on bit. I'm going to have to take care of my uh, fellow tank player. And the reason behind that is because Honbin makes a lot of good in-game calls, and of course his play itself is phenomenal, so that's why I no word to your fans as well. Thank you so much for always uh, supporting us. Proper for most sick. Yeah, it was a happy and proper with the sick ones. Stage two. But unlike stage one, we will make sure to win OWCS Asia and do well at Stockholm as well. Thank you very much. Proper stalker. Okay, yeah. I mean, <laughs> didn't look fucking sick to me. How do you feel about Do you remember when, um, do you remember when Bellas Ria had COVID and he, he had like the hella, the hella fucking performance and we called him COVID Jesus? Maybe COVID is the answer. I think I played well. I think I contributed a lot. What if COVID makes everyone Jesus? Yeah, it might actually be a COVID might actually be performance enhancing here. Yeah, so it might be. says, I think it's all because of It's probably the armor bug, though, right, Hanbin? Probably a little bit of the armor bug. <laughs> of course, you know, press E, press E, he said. But now, you know, he's playing well, really well. So, Chiyo now says, okay, I'm going to press E, so just go, go. What's the highlight reel moment for your own gameplay today? I did King's Row, probably, I guess. I think I just played well overall. So. I guess it was less his clutch, really. I mean, he got betrayed. Of course, um, the Nana Ramatra was a gamble in the uh, second point. Uh, it gives, like, I can't remember the numbers, but it's just way more way more damage reduction than it should, Uza, for both the Rally and the, the Ram form. So, Fielder. I had a lot of fun praying Brigitte. Do they just hotfix them? So yeah, I mean, if they can. They, uh, I don't know what the... Um, I don't know how reasonable it is, like, what's the, from a technical standpoint, right? Like, how fixable it actually is. Like, is it a sort of thing I can just do that? Or does it need, like, a... Is it a harder fix? <laughs> he just says yes to the question. Okay, you, so you um, dominated stage one and two. <laughs> so shouldn't you go forward with Asia and Stockholm as well? And he kept it simple and said, yep. 
필더 치오 정말 명보로 전 최고의 콤비다 이런 얘기 많이 들으면서 했었는데 이번 시즌에 솔직히 고생 많이 했었잖아요. 어때요? 그런 어 어려운 상황을 겪고 나서 다시 한번 우승컵을 들어올린다는 것 자체가 좀 많이 힘들었나요? 네, 저희가 초반에는 그렇게 막 성적이 좋지 않았어서 다들 약간 So everyone was their morale was kind of a little bit down because obviously we were our performance was up and down. But um, I think that with today's victory, we will ride the momentum into Asia and Stockholm. 네, 네 박수 부탁드리겠습니다. 자 이어서 치오 선수 저 만나볼 텐데요. Next we have Chio. 자, 소감부터 부탁드릴게요. Chio 선수. Please tell us how you feel about the victory. 우선 이번 대회 또 우승해가지고. I'm really happy that we won stage two as well. Nice. <laughs> They've just asked much in English. When people started saying, "Okay, Falcons may not win this stage," how did four uh, one Akami four one? How did the, uh, the team? How was the team atmosphere? And for Chio, it says, when Juno came out, and of course, when Juno was enabled, I had a lot of confidence with the hero. <laughs> of course, he says, uh, now that they listen to my calls, now they're playing Juno, you know, word to his fans. Of course, we, of course, we had a bronze in the road, but I'm um, really that was it. Was interesting. Proper put on a clinic, so it's not like it's also not that long, I guess. So if you got nothing else to do, but it wasn't like a, it wasn't like a, a vintage or a classic final for all time or anything like that. You know, Falcons are actually pretty dominant for the most part. Um, I think every map they won was super one-sided, and even the circuit reality they lost was actually pretty one-sided to Zeta. So, um, As, so yeah, not not a classic final by any means. But if you if you got time, you'll at least get to see you'll get to see some of the Ram, some of the Juno, some of the Sombra stuff mixed in there as well. Please come to our venue to watch the game. Uh, how do you feel about the victory? Because our condition wasn't that good, but I'm glad that we won. Thank you. I'm gonna let him talk. Uh, no, no more games. That was the grand final. That was the grand final. Junk, but translating for us. Or for Majid. So can you tell us a little bit about your pro gamer life? Now, uh, because you're playing overseas. For, oh, for you, it's overseas in Korea. Really difficult, but I'm getting used to it. I love Korea, actually. 한국을 사랑하는데 언어의 벽이 확실히 힘들다고 합니다. 그렇지 하지만 또 저희가 더 친해질 수 있으니까. 자 그럼 마지막으로 썸마드 선수의 앞으로의 목표 좀 부탁드리겠습니다. What are your goals? Uh, winning next stage, Asia, and then go to Sweden, hopefully. 네, 아시아 우승과 스토홀 가는 겁니다. 네, 자 박수 부탁드리겠습니다. 오, 썸마드 러브 유. 아. 오, 이렇게 또 많은 팬이 있습니다. 그리고 또 코치 스태프과도 인터뷰 나눠봐야죠. 소위 some love for Sir Majed as well. 코치님과 얘기 나눠볼 텐데. The match heads. 어 이번 시즌 고생 많았습니다. 최종 우승을 만들어냈습니다. 지금의 소감이 궁금한데요. Uh, no, so there's going to be a stage four for EMEA in North America, and then it'll be the Asia LAN for um, well, the Asia regions. Of course, the round robin was long, so there was a long, uh, it was a long trial and error period. And we nailed it. So I'm really happy that we were able to complete the stage with the championship of course, there's a, there are a lot of huge upcoming tournaments. So how are you preparing? When we were practice, uh, of course, we, we had our, we, the mindset was that we had our backs on the walls so that um, you know, I was making the players play competitive. Whether solo and scrims, of course. So, after Chuseok, they'll be going right back to practice, he says. 
Did Evan back at it? From, from, from the Overwatch League to the OWCS. How do you feel about the victory? Which the start was rocky, so I was a little worried. So there was something, but there was something I always said. Just like Shonen. Just By rocky start, he means they 2 0 Samoa very quickly. <laughs> <laughs> what does he mean for whole stage? Maybe he means for whole stage. So let's recognize our weaknesses and strengths and let's become one single unit. So I want to thank my team, my staff, and the fans, of course. I really want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Cheers, Krusty, mate. Sticking with us until the end. He's always glowing. He's a shiny fella. What's the one thing? Uh, what's the one thing that you want to compliment uh, your team the most? I think that we were sticking to our strengths and not letting go of our game plan was the, uh, the key point between uh, behind our championship. So will we see the same Team Falcons in OWCS Asia beyond? Of course, I think that we became a single unit and of course it might, our performance may go up and down depending on the meta. But um, I think we proved ourselves in the end. And that was the interview with your OWS's Korea Stage 2 right. champions. So that's just it then, I think. That's just it. We've got loads of time now until... Um... Yeah, it's finished. It's finished. Falcons 4-1. Final result. So I guess we should find somebody to raid, no? Who are we looking at? You just woke up? Yeah, I know. You missed it all then. Who do we want? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Is anyone even streaming yet? <laughs> Is anyone even streaming yet? Is it too early? Who's streaming? You want marbles? We have time. I guess we, we definitely have time. Let's see. Where's my Steam? I did say that, didn't I? You saw Naga is the Commissioner of Comedy? What's that a reference to? What's the, what's the bit? Raid Brain, is he actually live? Where am I going? Oh, he is! Very rarely I actually intersect here with um with anyone from Saudi streaming just because of the time zones. Is he staying on for a bit though? Looks like he was doing the same thing that we were in terms of co-streaming the game. <clears throat> he tweeted that NRG is unfunny. Why are they unfunny? <laughs> I feel like I'm missing uh, some pieces of information. Where am I going? Here. Here. Can you see? Or do I need to fix this? Okay, there we go. See if he's still enough for marbles. Yeah, I mean, if he is, I just don't... Yeah, if he's ending, we can always send it to somebody else. Which one do we want to do? Castle Siege? Castle Siege is a classic. Did Brandy have fake script? Was it fake or scripted? Or was it just... It was just an interview, no? Was it fake and scripted? I mean, it felt like we didn't get the full picture, right? But there's like a big difference between like... Someone just not answering the questions completely and it being fully fake and scripted. Or fully scripted, I guess. The, maybe the scripted is the word to dispute.
What's this game? It's marbles. Hold on. Have you never played marbles before, Sheba? Which one do we want? It seemed planned to you, but you don't even speak Arabic. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> yeah, I mean, it does sound like we don't give a full story, but... I mean... I don't know how much of that you want to point out brain to, really. Or how much of that you want to land on Blaine... Br land on Brain's doorstep. Fuck. Easy for me to say. Uh-uh-uh. Do you want to see... I feel like we do Castle Siege loads, though. Give me a different option. Descending drop and drop. All right. For anyone who's still here, then, we'll do a quick marbles. We've not played this one before, though, and it's the most played one we haven't played. So I'm, I'm a believer, all right? All right, exclamation mark play if you want to play. Yeah, it's on highlights now of the game. Wait, do I unmute this? Can this be? We use this as a backing track. There we go. Where am I going? Here? Oh, I've left the thing up. Hold on. Let me get rid of that for you. I've got to turn the sound off, actually. All right. Everyone in? Anyone else? Any more for any more? Fuck. Oh, god damn it. Maybe I'll just close this. Screw it. There we go. Am I in? I think so. Let me see. Wait, I need to remember commands. Oh, it's not. Is it not labeled them properly? Do I need to restart? What do you think? Restart it? Any marble experts? Hold on. I'm going to start it, but if there's no names, I'm just going to restart it, okay? 10 seconds if you want to go in. I think it might be a re this might be a restart angle. Yeah, that's no, a restart angle. Oh, not settings. Uh, main menu. Confirm. All right. Yeah, I only had like four names though, but I said it was more people in the race. So let's try again. Uh, which one was it? Sending drop. All right. Try again. Try again. We'll get past. We'll get over the line. There we go. Okay, go now. Go now. This looks more like it, right? This looks more like it. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. All right. Exclamation mark play if anyone else wants him. Where's my cursor gone? There's my cursor. All right. Everyone in? 10 seconds if you want in. Oh, it's a big old drop. All right. Off to the races then. Off to the races. Going down the Plinko bit. Oh, I'm actually, I'm actually smoking all you idiots. A tremendously good start, as expected, from one of our most handsome and talented racers today. We'll be taking the left-hand path, actually, which uh, is, as everyone knows, is actually the best path to take. We'll be making his way around the long way. 95 spikes and Dan, they're trying to chase, they're trying to keep pace, but I hold the lead, I hold the lead into the funnel. Oh, straight through the funnel. Dan straight through as well. A few smooth rides coming through this one, actually, but I hold the lead. This is a scripted... Oh, the maze! Oh, everyone's struggling with the maze a little bit. Maybe Dan and Sion actually handling it best. Dan now and oh the maze. I've actually I'm actually lost in the maze. I'm lost in the maze. It's now a Dan and Scion world. They're the front two. Mist and Jabber hot on their heels. Sort of ping-ponging side to side till they get to the steps here. I don't know if there's much time to be gained on the steps, but these upward steps, this could cause real problems here. This can slow a lot of people down. Expect the lead to change right now. I'm all the way at the back. Intiek really struggling as well as we go into the first steps here. Sion and Dan keeping pace with each other. They've been the front two. They're going to get into this. How does this bit work? Is it an elevator? It's an elevator. A big old elevator to the top. Then we're going to go for the big loop for loop. Looking to zoom round it here. There we go. Speed boost has been hit. 
More speed boost. Scion's actually flown to the front during all of this. Dan seems to have fumbled his way through the speed ring. Will fall to the back of the pack. And now Scion going through the funnel. Needs a cl as clear a run as possible. Oh, it's pretty good, actually. It's pretty clean from Scion. And now his lead is looking good. Dan slipped out into fifth place. Sheba missed Wolfman all in contention. Sion will be the first one round the corner into the big drop. Huge speed boost to be gained here, but they need to get through. They need to get through this. It's going to be tricky. Sheba hot over heels. Wolfman missed. Dan, the order has stayed the same. Sion, the first one to go through. Get stuck on it. Can anyone find a clear run through? No. All stuck on it. All stuck on it. And Sion holds the lead. First place. Sheba in second. Wolfman missed. Dan will hold on to that fifth spot. Looks like I've really slunk to the back. But the people really at the back is... Well, Intiac was at the back, but Bob... What's going on? How have we... We've only just completed the stairs. We'll take the elevator. I think there's zero... There's surely no chance of catching here for Bob. We'll hit the speed boost. We'll at least get to feel a little bit of something before he ultimately finishes last. Round the corner. But there's just no hope, is it? Just no hope. I guess it's a timeout for Bob. I didn't say beforehand, but those are always the rules. Always a timeout. 19 seconds. Can Bob at least get it over the line? Bob now a race against the clock. Looks like Intiek also will finish. Bob now 10 seconds left. We'll gain a bit of speed on this drop. But I don't know if he'll actually go over the line. Might get hit with the buzzer. Yeah, no good. One second left. Hit with the buzzer. The only person to die. I think the only person to die. The only person to die. <laughs> a disaster from Bob. So a timeout, a salute, a salute for Bob. He's gone. Sion is the winner. And there we go. A cheeky little marbles to finish it. Easy for Sion in the end as well, right? Once, once he got onto that lead, just held it. So now, I guess I should find someone to raid. What's brain? Oh, I closed that tab now. Hold on. Mm -mm -mm. Just that good? Wow. Consistency, you know? We could raid the international. Probably not, though. I reckon they're okay for views. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I've never had to raid anyone at half 11 before. Bob Rot is. <laughs> uh. I'll send you over to Brain. I feel like Brain's raided me a few times. And I never raid him in response because we, we don't normally have like overlapping schedules. So it might be a little bit in Arabic here, which might be hard for some viewers to deal with. Uh, if you don't know the language, you might struggle. But we'll send it over his way anyway. And I'll see you all in a few hours. We'll be back for the face it coverage for EMEA in North America. So stay tuned for that. Should be pretty good. Especially EMEA. I'm really excited for the EMEA one. Like, Furthest Pro SSG than Winner Plays Ents seems like a great one. So thank you very much, everyone, for today. And, well, I'll see you in a few hours.